All right, Bay Mag, today is Monday. It's April 11th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barcelona Sports. It's Snake Draft Monday. We got an in studio guest. Our guest is Jake Bass from Foreplay. Uh, the three guys were busy, so we got the producer. Jake, welcome to the show. How's it going? Big fan of the, the draft. Are you guys happy to have Jake? I love I, Jake. I want to have Jake in mm -hmm. here. What are we drafting? Skateboards? <laughs> <laughs> are you a skateboarder? Yeah, I got it. Are you kidding me? He's saying that because I used to, like on my old Twitter, I used to tweet out videos of me skateboarding all the time. I got a tattoo of it too. Dude, oh, he's I got didn't know that. He, he actually has like Tony Hawk level tricks and he would post during COVID. Yeah. He would post like highlights. I got back into it during park. COVID big time. Is that no your shit. skateboard? No, it's a skateboard with the Baltimore uh, skyline. skyline on it. Do you have a goal to get that as a real skateboard? No. Okay. I have one, but my girlfriend won't let me hang it up in the apartment, though. Oh, okay. Okay, quick shots fired. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know you were such a skateboarder. But welcome yeah. to the what, draft. What, hold on. What's the best version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater? I like the, the Tony Hawk Underground Pro Skater 2. That's the one I played a lot on the PSP. Very specific. Yeah. I, was a, I was a fan of 4. 4? Teach PS4. Yeah. PSP was legit. The PSP Tony Hawk was on the PSP was legit. legit. Well, that's good to know. Uh, well, it's not a skateboarding draft, though. We are, uh, <laughs> we are, um, we're drafting cocktails today. Yeah. Uh, because four plays in town, Jake is not the only guest. So we're gonna, we're, this is gonna be chaotic probably. We're mixing things up. I made this up off the top of my head last night, so it's gonna be chaos. So four play is gonna be a team as one drafter. So they have two producers, it's gonna be Jake, obviously the three guys, Riggs, Frankie, and Trent, and uh, Jonesy, their other producer. Uh, naturally, I thought that's not fair if the producers get involved with them and not ours. So, mm. with the draft order, mm -hmm. we will be selecting one of the four out of Harry, Tom, Hannah, and Danny, and then Lance is our worthy doorkeeper to make sure that the uh, the list is provided to these people when okay. uh, they come in. So you guys will be making the last pick. Do we get, and we got to also select our drafter or no? Yes, yes. you get to okay. select when, right. we, when we pick the order. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Hmm. Do you got a town? I told you, it might get chaotic. All right, so our just to be clear, the available pool for the Chicago people, Danny. Yes. Tom. Yes. Harry. And Hannah. And Hannah. Yes. And then Lance is the tough task of making sure that um, everybody knows what is taken before they walk, when they walk into the door on a piece of paper. Tom, you get to make a pick. Does this make you happy? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if you were saying that so we're each you make the last pick. pick. You, yeah, you guys the are last pick. you guys are the fifth round crew. Yes, correct. And oh, all also of us together are the fifth round. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. You you're up for sale, pal. Yes, like one of us are going to draft you. Like one of us to Carl, one of us to. Chief, all right. The fact you're catching on, you're not catching oh, on. Oh, you get it? You, you guys be, get you it? Might be the last yes. pick here. Kind of. Well, it'll come. It'll come as it as it, as it goes. Does Jake get it? No, no, not at all. Don't worry about it. So, but like four plays picking every round. Yes, correct. Got it. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yes, Got you it. are. You guys are Chicago team. Is just making the last pick. Yeah. I now, to be clear, and you didn't have to do this. No, but I, you know, I understood. Like our our <laughs> production wanted to. Yes. You know. So just so we're clear, four play producers still get more picks than. No, they us. get the same. Oh, they get the same. Damn. They get one. He gets one. There's because five four play guys here picks. right now. No, no he's when not. I, after I pick Riggs or he's whoever's gonna, coming in. Yes. He, oh, they just chose him to be the leadoff here, which is very funny. Because, you know, it's just we're leading off with the face of foreplay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you think of foreplay, you think of the tattooed skateboard. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. A lot of overlap between How are these guys going to know what's been picked? Do we have a big well, board why, in here? That's why Lance is the, the doorkeeper. He is going to have a big board for people when they walk in. They're going to be like, ooh, so it's going to be tough for them. Listen, at the risk of sounding, I don't want to complain, but that's only an 11 and a half by 8 or an 11 by 8 and a half. Well, Do we have a bigger board? Uh, we have a whiteboard that he could use, but, you know. He'll figure it out. Expo Sorry. marker gets a little sloppy. <laughs> so pick your poison. Um, all right, so that's how we'll do it. And uh, I don't know, it should be pretty – and also, a new wrinkle too, the White Sox play in an hour and five minutes. So White Sox Dave's leaving in about an hour. <laughs> and so whoever White Sox Dave drafts probably has to make a couple more picks. So hmm. that's a good slot. Now, when we draft who we're who, – we, so we're doing the draft order. Is mm -hmm. it almost like you get to pick a person – or a, bre or a draft pick, like it's halftime after a coin toss, or how do we? When you pick your draft order, oh, if you in that spot, you will pick your person as well. Okay, Does that so make sense? like you can have you can you're gonna have two first or overall picks theoretically. Correct. Okay. Correct. What if I want Tech Guy Andrew to make my pick? <laughs> Is he available? <laughs> if if you uh, no, we're keeping it to our crew. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how we're gonna do it. So I would say out of the gate though, you guys have a distinct advantage in cocktails, probably. Just being golf guys, like, you know, you're on a hole. Some guy has a different drink. Uh, but 
who knows what's going to happen. I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, what defines a cocktail? Like, what about a mixed drink? Here we go. That's what we. That's what Frankie brought this up earlier. And there's a difference between a mixed drink, like a blank and blank, versus a something with three ingredients. I think three, three ingredients is needed. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so, so I can't just come over the top and say Jack and Coke off the top. Correct. I don't think so, exactly. yeah. We, no we, Jack we and Cokes, no vodka to. sodas. Riggs defines it as like a, It's not a cocktail. It's like a snack compared to an appetizer. A cocktail is prepared. A snack you kind of just toss yes. together. You got to mm. get the shaker okay. out. Yeah. yeah. Not yes. in my house, but I'll play by <laughs> your rules today. So I, I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, all right, so let's just uh, also congrats to Chief for winning the hat draft. I know fashion. I know baseball. Good job. It was, it was easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, Dave was chirping at us all week, so. Um, yeah. So you re- decide to respond with one of the most complicated ideas we've ever put out on this Correct. Track, and I fucking love it. Well, that's the thing. Everyone was like, oh, you hated it. No, you just didn't like our selections. Yeah. Like, Correct. Completely off base. Uh, but yeah, this might get chaotic. It might not work. It may work. Who knows? But we're going to try it out. We're going to try shit out for a place here. We want to get them involved. It's Masters Weekend. It's a scramble. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Essentially. Um, okay, so let's do the order. Um, Lance, you have uh, number one through, well, fuck, how's this going to work? Well, he's in it still. All right, yeah. number one through five behind your back. Uh, what is it, Jake? Uh, three. It's not three. Uh, Carl? Four. Yeah. All right, you get pick of your spot, and you get pick of your fifth rounder. Who do you want taking it? Uh, I'm going to take Tom oh. Way. Won't be too excited, pal. I think you drink cocktails more than everybody else in this room. I love that about you. I think you're going to be. What number? Can we strategize too? We go stand out in the hallway for a second. No, we need to know. And we are going to pick. You know more than me. If I. It doesn't matter to him. He's picking the fifth round. So I know. It does matter a little bit. Uh, we're going to pick. Um, There's a clear cut 1-1. One, one. We're going to pick first overall. Yeah. All right. Uh, one through four, Chief. One. Dave. Three. No. Um, two. All right. There is a clear cut 1-1. One, one. Um, According to Jake Bass. And foreplay. Let me look down. And all down the line <laughs> yeah. here. We have a We have a list. I'm going to take the, uh, yeah. I'm gonna take the yeah. second spot. And I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, Danny used to work at a bar. And Hannah went to U of A, and I feel like she doesn't know that great a cocktail. So besides, like, just shitty shots. Um, I'm going to take Harry. I'm going to take my guy, Harry. Um, one through three, Your guy, Jake. Harry, that's bullshit. I've known him <laughs> since he was seven years old. I fucking hesitate. Uh, um, two. Uh, Chief. Three. One. Young Daniel. All right. What spot do you want? I'll take third. Dave, one or two? One. All right, you want the fourth or fifth spot and you get Hannah? Uh, fifth. It's called, you can't do this. Can you get... Wait, what, what, does it double? <laughs> White <Red> Sox, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you guys don't have to stick around the whole time, but that's, that's it. That's the order. It's Carl, Eddie, Chief. Carl with Tom, Eddie with Harry, Chief with Danny, foreplay. White Sox, Dave with Hannah. So we're, we're round. Yeah, but you guys yes. should stick around. Yes, sure, if you right? want. It's, I mean, yeah. it doesn't, you don't have any more advantage than foreplay will have coming in, so it's, it's fun. All, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all right. Cool. All right, I like that uh, out of the gate, Carl. I like that our guys are in the room and they're feeling the vibe of the draft. Yeah, that's actually a huge advantage <laughs> for us. It's a huge no, advantage. It's a, <laughs> well, it's up to them. They could have done it. Um, so, all right, everyone has the order. Uh, before we kick things off, though. Could you go through the teams again one more time? Yes, I'm sorry. I, I will go through the teams. No problem. Um, the teams are Carl with Tom, Eddie with Harry, Chief with Danny, Foreplay, White Sox, Dave with Hannah. Makes sense? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're taking some chances here. Before we kick it off, though, I do want to talk about Roman. Uh, you know how you're feeling when you're wearing a great outfit. Everything looks just right and your confidence is soaring. You can walk into a room knowing you're on your A game. If you've been struggling, Roman can give you that same feeling in the bedroom. Remember how good Dave, <laughs> remember how good Dave looked on the uh, Sh- Shrek day? Great. He, he looked, looked great. He, he was like so mad I kept complimenting yeah, his colors. Because great. it was disingenuous compliment. Duh. It was not. It was genuine. You look great. You looked like you, you packing Roman, like you had everything going for you. You kind of your I, outfit I, matched the Roman packaging. 
Can I make a confession? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's yes. your confession? I went and saw a girl later that night. Oh, did oh. you? I did. With? I obviously had Roman in my pocket. There you go. Good Just for nice you, and Dan. easily, I threw it in my pocket behind a bunch of business cards that of businesses and people I'll never see again. And uh, fits right in. And <laughs> I was ready to go later that night, Ed. There Let's give go. her a call. There you go. Let's call her right now. See how was it? Went. Uh, so, yeah, the folks at Roman, an online men's health company, they changed the game with the Roman Swipes. The secret to longer lasting sex. Roman, sli- Roman Swipes are a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and they're fast acting. But they don't require a prescription. Roman can ship these swipes to you in discreet, unmarked packaging, and each swipe packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. They're super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the packet, swipe it on, let it dry. You're good to go. That's it. Go to GetRoman.com slash dogwalk to get $10 off when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash dogwalk. GetRoman.com slash dogwalk. Go do it. Enhance the sex game. All right. The cocktail draft is uh, underway. Carl, you're up. All right. First overall pick, Tom and I are selecting uh, Old Fashioned. Taking an old yep. fashioned. Mm-hmm. I think yep. that's the clear first. Thank you, Tom. I think that's a first. Uh, if we're going to say there's a clear one, one, it's the cocktail when you get now, there's just like so many iterations of it when you go to a place. They just don't have an old fashioned. They've got the house old fashioned. They've got the nice old fashioned. They've got the old fashioned with the little, you know, like kind of little twist to it. Exactly. I love when it's smoky. Yeah, it's smoky. You know who has a good smoky old fashioned? La Burge, the Penn Casino down oh, in really? New Orleans, yeah. mm, that's or uh, good Louisiana, that's good. rye or bourbon. See, now I actually prefer rye. Yeah, and if that makes me a bad person, whatever, but I prefer it. Yeah, I'm a rye guy. Now I don't actually understand the chemical difference, but I know that rye's smoother on me. Isn't rye like from Kentucky or bourbons from I Kentucky? Think rye is from Canada, typically. That's what I thought too. Was um was this the one you this were talking was one about? One. That's yeah. why they mm-hmm. sent me in because I'm a big old fashioned guy. They were like, "Oh, Jake will get one one. He'll get old fashioned. He'll walk out." Mm-hmm. And now I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't know what to do. No, I'm. You know those big. Let me tell. Let me say something about big ice cubes. Big ice cubes at a restaurant or big ice cubes at a cocktail lounge or whatever. Always done so it makes well. a difference. Uh, big big ice cubes at home. One of the hardest things to pull off. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I've I've tried Dude. six different trays. I just can't get it figured out. But they do it. They do it so it's like clear and crisp, and it's. They have that machine that you that can make them into a ball like quickly, and I have the, just like the little rubber trays for both balls and and, and big s- square cubes, and they work great. Maybe it's maybe I get the shakes taking them out. But maybe a machine, you got a slant in your a freezer. machine in your house, I could have a slant. I could be off. Mm. That's actually a good point. Dave, any thoughts on an old fashioned? Um, I'm going to shout out this bar in Wicker Park. It's called Inner Town Pub. Great spot. I haven't been there since the pandemic, um, but I used to go all the time because I used to live kind of a few blocks away, and I forget her name, but there was a bartender in there and she is from i want to say norway probably about 50 years old i would say super nice bartender but she's been in a bunch of magazines for like best bartender in chicago oh, nice. and she owns part of inner town pub and she would make me old fashions 10 bucks cash that's it so not expensive because they can get pricey and she would do the smoke thing where they would trap yep. the smoke in it and the best cocktails i've ever had in my life so that that place was on thomas street which is where mm-hmm. i used to live is a few blocks from me i love the inner town pub i was sad to hear that they closed down for having raw sewage in their basement Ugh, oh, that's, that's a damn shame that, that is tough. a damn shame because that was a nice little neighborhood spot. it was a great spot i didn't know this this oh, breaks yeah. my heart yeah because it, it had been closed for a while and it was open during pandemic they, they actually made a beer garden that they didn't used to have okay and then it was closed and like well, chained up and I was like what's going on and it was like mm, raw sewage it's, it's not it was an old building they yeah. should I mean she should open up somewhere because her she was like a fucking chemist very good with these cocktails it was my one of my favorite spots and it was super cheap but well, yeah old fashioned that spot mm-hmm. old fashioned goes 1-1 one, one overall it's to me um, I don't know I feel like these are highly regarded but I know people fucking hate them just because one of the ingredients is very not polarizing but not natural i guess i'm going bloody mary um, that is polarizing yeah I, I i think but here's the thing there's a lot of people that dislike them but the amount of people that do like them is still a fucking huge army and who are you i like them i, I don't like uh i don't like the fucking too loaded mm-hmm. you know what i mean and i like celery over pickle 
but uh, I, I don't mm. like them fucking, you know, people try to put like, I like them. Drag you, know three loves guards. you know, like Nate, a Slim Jim in there. Nate loves the, he loves the. With like a chicken tender in yeah, there? Yeah, I feel like I've no, seen no, him no, tweet no, no, that all the time. See, that, that's oh. just outrageous. We'll yeah. put like six, like, uh, put, like a, a cheeseburger in there. Yeah, yeah, like shit like that. But like, I'll load it up, like throw bacon in there. Throw the works in there, other than like actual full on meats that are fried already and shit. Uh, I do enjoy a Bloody Mary. Though. Yeah, like, I think Bloody Mary. It's like the Cowboys. Like, sure, a lot of people hate them, but they have a huge fan base as well. I'm in the I'm in the hater camp, and I have tried to like them so many times, and I just gave up because it's just. And you you'll be with somebody at a brunch, or you'll be like, oh this oh this place it does the best ones. You'll like them here. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. Just never, never hit for me. The last thing I want when I'm hungover is tomato. But it's, it's, it's weird. It's, but it is like I, I don't like tomato juice, but I like Bloody Marys. Same. I couldn't, I couldn't just drink like One poor glass V8s. of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just tomato juice, but I like Bloody Marys. So I don't, don't know like how them. that works, no. but it does. No. But that's a good pick. That's a very good pick. Yeah, I think people will like it. Do you, uh, Carl, did you say you like them or not? Yeah, I, I have like a phase with them. Like I'll, I'll yeah. get a Bloody Mary today on the way up to the Cubs game. I probably won't like it halfway through. No. And I'll reluctantly fi- finish it, mm-hmm. but it's like the first bite is the first bite of it's very good, yeah. and then as you get through it, I, I probably say bite because it's like a milkshake. But hey, are you happy with that? Where you're coming in the fifth round? I'm a big Bloody Mary guy. Uh, I'm on board. Glad we're on the same page. Um, so yeah, Bloody Mary. I think it's uh, I think it's a first rounder though, but whatever. I, mm-hmm. The only thing is, is like. When I hear the word cocktail, I don't think Bloody Mary. Oh, it's definitely a cocktail. It's definitely yeah. a cocktail. It's got a smorgasbord of stuff, but it's not the first thing that pops in your head. When you said Bloody Mary, I was like, whoa, I was yeah, it's not a expecting that. A little under, uh, a little yeah. out of the box, I guess. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'm going to take a Manhattan. So I'm more of an old-fashioned guy, but this is, like to me, like they're cousins. And uh, so a little bit of sweet vermouth in with that bourbon. Everything else is kind of the same. And, and it's a good, like... You know, you're you're sitting down to a nice dinner. You start with a with a Manhattan, and uh, so I, I'm happy to have Manhattan. If I was first overall, admittedly, I would have taken an old fashioned. But Manhattans are great too. So mm-hmm. I'm that's I feel like they're definitely a first round pick, and happy to have it. Manhattan, anybody, Jake? It's my favorite cocktail. Ooh. Nope. that was going to be my next pick. Oh no, I love a good Manhattan, a nice Marigiano cherry in there. Yep, mm-hmm. sweet vermouth. Get funky with the bitters. Say the cherry again. Marigiano. Is that how you pronounce it? I thought it was maraschini. Maraschini. Marchino. Maraschino. I don't know. Marchino. Now I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. I've never heard it pronounced <laughs> that way before. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I sounds more of like a Chicago, like a Marigiano. Maybe. Something Maybe. Like that. Maybe. So, I, I'll yeah. admit, to, I'm not a good cocktail guy, so this draft is not for me. But I, you know, well, I'm after sure listening the commissioner to these, will be able to rig it for you like, somehow. Get I you want on the pole. to. Well, that doesn't mean I can't put together a good draft. <laughs> yeah, that's the ones true. I have had. Yeah. But uh, never had a Manhattan. I like no, I have, but I'd like to have like a good one, you know. Yeah, like I've had a good mm-hmm. old fashioned, but Manhattan would be uh, on my list. I so. was pounding Manhattans with that at Catch Steakhouse in New York. Do you ever hear that place before we went there? <laughs> yeah, at? just a little little local spot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. a hidden gem. Yeah, hidden, hidden gem. gem. Yeah. Gotta try this steak. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Carl, no thoughts on Manhattan. Nothing. No, it's great. All right. Yeah. Uh, here we go. The four play team. Jake Bass, your first pick. All right, well, this is going to be the token pick. Mm-hmm. We were going to go, our list went old-fashioned, Manhattan. Now it's to me because we didn't have uh, yep. what's called on ours. We're going to go with the transfusion. Oh, Very uh, on brand. <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> Great. But I, can, I, I would it. show you the list, but we had to take it. Third best cocktail. We have our own, the Owens Craft Mixer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Toss a little ginger ale, a little grape juice. I personally like it with whiskey instead of vodka. Oh. You do like a good. So you're a dark guy. Yeah, I'm a big dark guy. Yeah. You put a little maker's mark, like almost like a sweeter yep. uh, whiskey in it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, sponsor or whatever. No. But those are good. On the course, it's the most refreshing drink. Go to the cradle. Pine Nurse, I know Riggs cried the whole thing. <laughs> There's There truly is nothing better than like a yes. hot day, come around nine, shot maybe like 45 on the front, having a tough day, sucking down a transfusion. That was a sneaky brag. Oh, I don't golf. Okay. I, yeah, I'm not a big golfer. Fun fact. I mean, it, I think most, very fun most, fact. Their yeah. like head producer does like hates golf. Oh, you, you don't telling like me the golf, skateboard right? guy isn't like a golf. golfer? No. I like. I genuinely like. In, I I like watching it. I like playing with my friends. But like, yeah. When I started three and a half years ago, I was a country club kid growing up. Hated golf. Oh, really? And didn't yeah. you bullshit them? You're like, oh, I yeah. Because I, I worked for McAfee uh, when okay. he was at Barstool, <laughs> and I interviewed with Dave. And I, originally, I was going to be like a chicks in the office guy, and Dave was like, you don't look like a chicks in the office guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he was like, you like golf? And I was an unemployed 22-year-old, and I was like, I fucking love golf. I love golf. <laughs> yeah, so I listen love here, that. listen here. Fucking Snake it till you make it. I love golf. Oh, yeah, I grew yeah. up on a country club. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, transfusion, nothing like it. How do we? Was that a little bit of a sponsored pick? Do we feel? You know what? I don't care. I respect it. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. I knew it was coming. Foreplay had to get transfusion on their boards. So. I just hate that they send him in for it. You well, know, I, 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 I want to get. I want to get something from Jake. I want to like peel back the onion a little bit on him, but I get it. Uh, I'm yeah, around all weekend. It. Yeah, we can okay. peel back some onions. Yeah, all right, right, and we'll drink some transfusions for yeah. sure. So, I know um, it's Monday, but. It's a perfect cocktail. Good happy hour. Springtime. Masters is spring. Mm -hmm. Head mm -hmm. to mixers .com, Store locator. Amazon. Go puff. There you go. All right. Perfect. Transfusion off the board. Thank you, Jake. You All can right. go tag in uh, the two hole from four play. Thank um, you guys. Thanks, Jake. White Sox, Dave. So when I am, I'll say classing it up. <clears throat> Ordering expensive drinks that aren't domesticated light beers and, and vodka sodas from the well. I love getting good girly as possible just the fruitier the better to me and i love cosmopolitans oh, you ever had a nice cosmo? Cosmo. Oh, it is no such a good drink a little sugar rim on there for you david no love them yeah. love them to death and they will get you smashed they really will like bombed out of your gourd just <laughs> completely fucking hammered and I know it's like the chick drink. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. Like I said, when I'm doing this, like, like I want the whole array. I want to taste everything. Uh, I love Cosmopolitans, and like it has the stigma of being the girl drink, but like you have two or three of them, and you're completely fucking wasted. Are you picky with your cranberry juice? Uh, no, I'm, I can't say I am. Uh, why do you ask that? I don't know. I just didn't know if you're the ocean spray is number one, and two, and three. That's the only one you know. Yeah. <laughs> the only one you know. So my, I have a cousin, my cousin Dave. He's actually like a cousin-in-law, technically. But he, for holidays, he used to be a bartender, and he would always do something like a little fancy. And one year, he was doing pomegranate martinis for Thanksgiving or Christmas with a sugar rim. And I had three of them. They were delightful. Stood up. And like... Tip over like it a two was by like four? You had to like... Yeah. You know, like replant your feet yeah. like you're on a balance beam after having. I think maybe I might have more than three, but mm -hmm. it was like you. It's it's the type of cocktail where you don't necessarily know you're drinking a cocktail because mm -hmm. right. you can't taste the alcohol. There, you you are cannot are taste fucked. the alcohol in for a Cosmo whatsoever. Riggs okay. has entered the room. Riggs thoughts on Dave drafting a uh, Cosmo? That's weak. <laughs> Why is that weak? <laughs> you don't love a Cosmo. I love Cosmos. Nah, I don't know about that. I I can prove it to you right now. Hold on. I don't know. You're gonna prove. I just. How is he gonna prove it? I'm actually curious. I don't know. I just think it's not that interesting. Yeah. What did you you laughed at? Bland. Him. Well, I thought I was like, man, it's gonna be really funny when we get to like the fourth round and someone's gonna have to draft draft Cosmo. Like yeah. I I knew for sure someone's going Cosmo. I didn't know that someone would do it enthusiastically, mm -hmm. eagerly. And I Dave, thought it would be staring down the barrel like, listen, I know this is going to be – no, like Dave really loves it. Cosmo. He wants it. And I won't say I, I like, uh, like Dave has fruity, receipts. delicious drink. I'm, I'm against anyone who hates on that stuff because I, I think you drink whatever you like. I just mm -hmm. think it's a – it's kind of a boring pick, I think. Mm -hmm. Boring. Yeah, it's boring. It's Cosmo. Boring about it. It's just boring. Well, it's, it's. I mean, how's it any different than a Manhattan? Like, what's no? I think what's Manhattan's got, got a little bit more gravitas to it. I think Cabo, Cosmo's kind of a uh, uh, Cosmo I surface think, level. Yeah. Like, eh. I think Sex in the City when I when people that's everybody like that's all the lists I'm, I'm seeing online. They're all like, oh, the Sex in the City drink. I never watched Sex in the City, but like you I should. I do not care. It's a good show. Like it is. Is it so yeah. refreshing and it gets I you like fucked that show. up? Beyond show. Yeah, I've heard it's a good show. Yeah. Uh, and then for my wraparound, I'm going to go with Vodka Martini. Okay. Um, I need takes on the Vodka Martini. Is that how James Bond likes it? He <laughs> goes, Vodka Martini, shaken, not stirred. Um, just I good drink. I'm, take it from here, I guess. Now, do you, t do you like that for taste? Do you like that for, for the action? What do you want? Why do you get a Vodka Martini? I don't like gin. That's why. So if I'm getting a martini, I'm going vodka. I think gin is like I could be drinking well gin or some billion dollar bottle of gin. It's all rubbing alcohol to me. Really? I can't stand gin in any situation. Um, but martinis are great. I just have to get them vodka. Mm -hmm. now, Do you, is a martini order for you uh, um, 
circumstantial or occasion based at all? All like, of these drinks are circumstantial and occasion based. Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure you're gonna walk into like an Irish pub and get like a martini. <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> okay, like this That's is when he was a Cosmo. Like for yeah. instance, there's a there's a bar Smart. around the corner from here. It's a karaoke bar, and um, if I'm there, they have it's it's tiki bar theme. So they have all the like you know fruity okay. palm tree type drinks. I'll I'll get Cosmos, martinis, shit like that. Um, but if I'm on a typical Friday night, no, I'm just drinking beer, vodka, soda because I'm a I'm fat, and because I have no palate, like no sophisticated palate. Okay. An unsophisticated palate. You like this pick? Checks out. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. My, you know, um, martini, I, I, I think is interesting. I think you know the glass, martini glass, mm -hmm. is sends a message. It's nice. It mm -hmm. feels like you're, yeah. You know, it, it it justifies being out at a at a bar or a restaurant. That's a good way to put right. It. Like I, when yeah. they give you the nice martini glass and you're doing it, you're happy to pay. The up, you know, when uh, there's certain drinks you have where you're like, mm -hmm. eh, pay an X amount. I could just be having this at my ho home. It's not that big of a deal. Martini, you're kind of they capture the experience. I feel with for the sure. display, which is nice. Is mm -hmm. a glass is too much of a risky proposition for me though. It's always spilling. A little top heavy. Yeah, I can't like handle it. So I it's don't very do it. intimidating to have that. You glass. gotta you gotta take the first sip without your hands. You leave it on the table and you just put That's your mouth. That's class in. right yeah. there. <laughs> I mean, I'm class sophisticated. <laughs> but you just give it a little grab. sip to get it off the top just, edge of the glass. Just approach it like a pig into a trough. Like a, exactly. Yeah. So you grab by the exactly. stick. I don't. I would be called I mean, a stem. I think probably. it's the shaft. <laughs> it's a, no, it's the shaft. The shaft. Look, I, I couldn't find. Yeah, the word. give it. The, just grab it by the shaft. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're just fucking bashing toxic masculinity in the face right now, Dave. You, it's, it's like can't see that, radio. That, that, that yeah. when I'm drinking these kind of drinks, like the whole purpose of me is to go well outside my comfort zone. Yeah, it's good. I feel so like that's Dave's, why I like to mix them up. Dave's a sorority girl. You got, my you got Hannah picking <laughs> doing your fifth pick. It's people are gonna think she <laughs> did your whole board. It's gonna be a that's clean fine. list yeah. for for, for Hannah. And I if anybody shit talks a uh, um, cosmopolitan once all of this is released, like you've never had a cosmopolitan because they're objectively. They delicious are, they are and delicious. Okay. If I was more secure, Dave, I would. Uh, if well, I was yeah. as secure in my sexuality as you, exactly, I would order them more. Often. I would yep. love to have seen it come in the fourth or fifth round. Is my issue. I think it's okay. It's that's fine. Fair. It's fine yeah. drink. I just would have liked to have seen it later. Like Carl said, where so, you were kind of up against it a little bit. For sure, I get that. That's fine. Um, <laughs> like if if so, if, <laughs> if I'm just looking at a menu, the Cosmo would be the first thing I drink, just because it's so out, outside the box. Like I've I've done the Manhattans when I go to steakhouses and and old fashions. Like been there, done that. What's your panic order? Person comes, Manhattan. You, you're not really ready. Uh, I would say Manhattan, but you want to appear Manhattan. ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even though like I'd be like, oh fuck, what's in Manhattan again? Do you get a look when you order a Cosmo? No, because they know what I'm doing. That's the whole point. Like I usually like I like doing this at bars that at, that have these sort of menus. Is I just tell the bartender I'm like dealer dealer choice. Like bring me bring me something, and then when you see I'm empty, bring me something different. All right, Cosmo Vodka Martini off the board. It goes to Team Four Play. Riggs will be nicking the next pick, obviously. So I believe our first one was the transfusion. Yep. Correct. From Jake Bass. Yep. On brand. How, how was Jake Bass's appearance? We were great. kind of Actually, in the, we're in the dark out there. We didn't know. So uh, Jake is our sort of, um, he's our smug drinker. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. He's into like nice cock. He was devastated that you somebody took Old Fashioned already. He, he, yeah, Old Fashioned. I'm fashion devastated and, that he made your sponsored pick then. He was devastated. <laughs> I was surprised he <laughs> yeah. made our sponsored pick. Yeah. Uh, he was devastated that Manhattan was gone. I think those are like his two favorite things on planet Earth. That's what he oh. said. So that's why we sent him in. You know, one, we thought we'd catch you guys off guard. Mm -hmm. Sent it in bass. I and loved it. Two, this is his route. I mean, he loves. So we wanted him to get a, uh, one of his nicer cocktails early. So I was a little, I was a little stunned. I think he must have been rattled because he came out and was like, I, I took transfusion. That we was like, his panic pick. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we were like, dude, the whole game plan was thwarted. Like, what, what happened? Um, but I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go. Kiev Mule. And the reason I'm saying that we don't say Moscow anymore. So Kiev Mule. It's Moscow Mule. Oh, okay. All right. Let's There's a lot of reasons, um, I, you know. Start with the mug, and I'm going to go, you know, in line with what my friend Dave was saying earlier, which you know, the martini glass, the Moscow Mule comes in the copper mug. If it yep. doesn't, I don't even know that it constitutes. I'll, I, you know, it, it, that's like the, it's uh, one it's of the ingredients. ingredients. Yeah. yeah, agreed. It's almost a four ingredient drink yeah. because of the the mug that it has to come in. Um, I'm not one that would ever send anything back, but if it came in something different, I would drink it quickly and leave. Yeah. Dude, the tip twenty percent fine, but I would leave. There, there. So, <laughs> this is I would say is on the lower end in terms of quality 
because they're well i'm sure they do that with all these drinks but they can them now you can just get a canned moscow mule and that tells me that it's just like a shittier version of 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 quality drinks if that makes sense but a moscow mule if it's like 90 degree july day I could drink a thousand of them. Most refreshing drink on the planet. And I don't know if the science backs it up, but I, you know, uh, I think the copper mug makes it colder. It's I think just, that's it's what the really yeah, cold yeah. Yeah. Uh, all the time. More. And yeah. as someone who has moved into just, I just live permanently in nice hot weather places. I always need a refreshing drink. That's the mm-hmm. move. You know, the kind of old fashions and that are kind of wintry drinks, and you know, mm-hmm. they feel a little more what, wintry. Oh yeah. Bloody Marys yeah. Yeah. feels yeah. almost a little more wintry sometimes, or uh, a pre-ski drink even. I, uh, as a more of a summer cocktail kind of guy, Moscow Mule, oh man, comes out, it's delicious, it's flavorful, it's always freezing cold. The mug, the presentation, I love presentation, so I'm gonna go Moscow Mule. But we don't say Moscow anymore, so I'd like to uh, submit a picture for we break this pick here. Uh, I have a picture of Dave somewhere from like 2017. We're at Lincoln Hotel. <laughs> no, it was, uh, um, think it was Renali's. And no, he, you're correct. He has a Moscow <laughs> mule, but a fishbowl size with a copper mug and just going to town on it. Incredible. Three straws. Think, yeah. So do you want Dave's face in your graphic, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. okay. I like Dave. Yeah. I'll make sure that gets submitted over to. Uh, OK. Yeah. Like the, he, he fails to tell like it was a group of us out and they have like the three foot long straws hanging out. It's supposed to be a group order. I just happened to get a picture taken of me when I was the only one drinking out of it at that moment. Is this a place where they do like mule races, kind of? Where you get a nah, couple it's teams not a race. Person, it's it's a... just like a, a, which is kind of gross to think about, but like I don't care. It's like a community Moscow mule. You throw it in the center, and that ha- it has like the long ass straws where everybody can himself. just. I mean, probably. How long do you think <laughs> it took you to down that thing? Oh, this is years ago. It's the only time I've ever probably. That wasn't the question. I would say three to five minutes. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. And it was like a gallon of liquid. Do you guys, you guys drink? I drink everything at the same pace. No matter what it is, probably a pretty uh, consistent like fifteen minute pace. It could be uh, Bud Light or it could be a, a really a triple, you know, Moscow Mule mm-hmm. with endless amount of vodka. I drink are we in, are we sponsored by an depends alcohol on how thirsty for this episode? Uh, you can bleep no, that out. To okay, we I, I, I drink my paces, drink as fast as you possibly can because no matter what, no matter what, because okay. I'm drinking for a specific purpose. Responsibly. responsibly. Yeah, I'm doing it responsibly, of course, but I'm drinking as fast as I can. You don't drink for the enjoyment. You drink just to get to a destination. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm getting at? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. I do. Okay. Like, I don't just have two or three beers like dads do when they get home from work. I think it depends, you know? man. I don't plan. It just depends how that first one goes down, and then I decide a pace. Okay. I, I'm trying to feel – I am I don't even know if I know how I drink. So the only reason I ask because I remember finding out, you know, like especially in college, that occasionally somebody would hand you – you go to a, a bar or something to have a deal, and it'd be like a 22 ounce fucking beer or something. And I'd be, after like an hour, hour and a half, be hammered. I'd be mm-hmm. like, "Well, it's because I drink every, no matter what. I'm drinking all of them at the exact same pace. It's not like it takes me twice as long to drink a beer. That's twice as yeah. You just I don't know why you, you just, just have shot, you have an internal shot clock. And I'm yeah. same way with yeah. food. I like all my food on my plate. I finish at the exact same time. I hmm. eat around in a circle. You know, I kind of eat mm-hmm. a little bit. Finish everything at the same time, same pace. Drinking, I drink every alcoholic drink at pretty much the exact same pace. Mm-hmm. So if it's way stronger, I'm just going to be way more, way, way drunker, canned, yeah, in quicker <laughs> yeah. period of time. I love okay. that. Yeah, all right. I would say so as I well to uh, Moscow Mule is, you know, that's a panic drink. Probably the most popular mm-hmm. panic drink. I would. The say. only, only, only right. bad thing about a Moscow happen. Mule is the ginger beer is so fucking sugary. If you drink like three of them, your stomach's like just churning. Yeah, two might be the max. Yeah. But, but I'll say I, if they but at the same time I could drink. They peaked like a couple of years ago too. I think. Yeah, they lost. Yeah, they lost. They, they, they lost like, a little uh, bit of steam, but there was a couple of years like ago. Fireball. Big, big time. Huge. Yeah, everybody was drinking. Them. Huge. Yeah, it did have a fireball face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool I'll say it. if they're on the menu, that means you're going to get a really good one. Mm. If they're not, and you order one, that. it's probably. I've seen be. places now making variations of them. That's yeah. a good rule of thumb, good. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. If those Moscow like mules presented on the menu, they're probably going to have some drip on it. It's going to be nice. But if it's just sort of a run of the mill, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's not as cool Kiev yeah. mule Kiev right, mule so on, the, on the graphic Kiev, so Kiev mule, mule is off the Pre- board Kiev parentheses we don't honor Moscow anymore mule. close parentheses mule mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't say Moscow Love. okay um, alright chief you're up um, I think Riggs just said it's about the destination I feel like this next one is a destination pick uh, if you graduate from a Red Bull vodka, you might go to an espresso martini. Oh, so if you're getting fucked up, yep, and uh, that's like the plan. You're starting with a nice dinner, and then you know you're having you're tying one on for the night. You're going out after dinner. Espresso martini is is the place to start. 
Uh, so very happy to have it. Mm. I round. had one for the first time ever. I want to say it was in early December at Maple and Ash. And I had him for, I had maybe three of them. And we went out bar hopping afterwards. And I was like, heart racing a little I bit. I looked like fucking Riggs when I was looking this way, the other was looking that way. <laughs> well, Riggs in 2018. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. years ago. Unbelievable <laughs> shot there. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, no, just, I, just and I joke. also feel like Espresso Martinez are having their moment now, the way you guys said Moscow yeah. Mules, their time is over. I feel like we've, in the last three years, that these Espresso Martinis have been kind of taken off. Kiev Mule, but yeah. yeah. I, Kiev, you know, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I would agree with that. Yeah. I think they're they're in right now. Mm-hmm. They're yeah, having I think their they're moment. Kind of towards the end of being in, but they're Might in. Be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just they're, be like yeah. it's like year three of them being in. I think it's, yeah, about year three of them being in. So mm-hmm. maybe next year doesn't play it. Espresso much. Nardinis, they used to say, right? Oh, I've heard that before, too. That's a fun one, yeah. Yeah. For a while there. They're good though. Yeah. Oh, they're they're they're, they're great. Yeah. I love them. They're That's one that might them. get an outlier on my pace, my pace thing. Go okay. Faster with those. Yeah, I think those just get eliminated. But quickly. they're slugged. Yeah. Oh, that, that yeah. yeah, they're they're done. Mm-hmm. And but you don't realize how how much fucking booze is in them because yeah. they're you're like holy shit this is good and it's only like three sips of alcohol and then all of a sudden you're sloshed. Mm-hmm. I love um. It. All right, espresso martini off the board. It's to me. Uh, typically, when I when I really drink cocktails, it's got to be like warm weather in the sun, like really getting after it. So in that case, I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take a mai tai. I think it's uh, it's loaded. You get fucked up. Oh yeah, and you do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just you see the sun, Jimmy Buffett. You think you drink a mai tai, you know, and another drink. But I went with this one. Okay, because I like this alcohol more than a different alcohol but what you're usually just a, a beer guy or something Eddie? yes typically oh, okay. just a beer guy or right. uh or just uh, a mixed drink as we said like either like yeah. a whiskey whatever yeah, you keep it simple um, yeah exactly i'm not a cocktail guy at all so i'm gonna struggle here but i do i'm like, not particularly versed in my ties no no i don't think i am either i got a great one at bob chins i don't know if you guys have ever been there the famous <laughs> I love seafood bob place. Chins. dude yeah they give you bob a free chins, great seafood when they sell more seafood per table or something than like than any like, other seafood the, restaurant in the country and the wow. country it's crazy yeah uh like i wouldn't know the difference between a mai tai and like a mojito Oh, you wouldn't? No, I just I wouldn't really know. Mojito's minty, right? I would you? Yeah, would you? Uh, I mean, I just don't really know. Easy. I didn't say it. He said it. Yeah, but you. Uh, this guy just comes in and he just combustion. draws the card on a grain pill. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, maybe so, I'm trying to mess. Maybe I'm trying to throw a wrench in this fucking true. operation here. It could be, but no. Uh, Play with my own rules. A mai tai is very different than that drink you just. I mentioned. think I put that as the same as a Cosmo. Like you think so? Islandy uh, beach drink. I, I think, uh, yeah, that's the difference. I think that's a vacation drink where yours is just like a night out with the girls. Yes, correct. Yeah. That's a night out with the girls. This is like, you know, yeah, tiki you're, culture. You're, in, yeah. a, you're at a, you know, in a floating bar in the pool. Yes. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Nice place to be. Sw- swamp bar. That, yeah. That'd be yes. pretty nice right now. Nice yes. place to be, which you can't hear at this time. I is it always this shitty here? This time this of year? This is bad for this time of year. It should I be in the 60s right nice now. Here this time of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's just flip a coin. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Is that right? It's, never done. it's yeah. been, no, it's never been bad. April? Yeah. yeah. It's been bad the whole month. I know March is tight, but April? Yep. I Holy feel like it's been fuck. extending into May the last couple of years. Like spring is gone. We just, we just have the whole rest of the world's getting nicer earlier, hotter. We're on. You guys heard about that one? And now it's. Just, I did hear that. Not this us. is crazy. Yeah, town. not us. You get a little geopolitical here. No, um, I just again, I'm just obs- observation. <laughs> I'm allowed to vocalize observations. Isn't that what we do here? I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's shitty. Fucking terrible. You guys don't like to talk about. It. It's kind of. A, no, talk. I mean it's just like you just deal with it, you know, and you just like don't think about it and you suppress. I it. think about I, it. I got mad at it this morning. I, I, yeah. I went out and walked the dog, and I I don't know. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be rainy, stinging, cold. Yeah. Miserable, and I'm Same like, fuck breath. this. I can't yeah. I mean, people we, aren't meaner here because of that. You just kind of deal with it. You know, <laughs> just take it off the chin, I guess. Some Clark is telling Chief how polite people we are. are. Yeah. Him and, well, at least uh, him and I. But Midwest are nice. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But you just think you guys would be so hardened by this miserable shit that By the way, we know that we're all in it together. <laughs> I, I tweeted yeah. this bullshit fucking graphic of, I'm like, this is what the Midwest is. Anything anybody else says is incorrect. I triggered a lot of people with that. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was just a throwaway I tweet. I like circled what I envisioned the Midwest as, and people were not happy with it. Where do you mad. put the borders? East and west. Um, <clears throat> uh, western border of Iowa, and then you cut through, like I think, halfway, like north of Minneapolis, and I would say Green Bay. That's that's all Canada. It doesn't count. <laughs> Anything south of Springfield and St. Louis, that's all like might as well be Alabama. And then you go, and like then there's... No man's land. Who gives a shit about West Virginia and 
and Indiana. Okay. And Nebraska right. and Oklahoma, like, fuck them all. Okay. Can't Thank believe you, you triggered people with your... I, I, they were very upset with me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, like, kind of joking, but kind of not. Thank you, Dave. All right, my ties off the board. Carl, you're up. Margarita. Can't believe it's here. Can't believe margarita is available 10th. Most overrated drink on Unbelievable planet Unbelievable that margarita is here. Love margarita. Right Tequila. So I got, I got my number one, I guess, well, I guess rye whiskey, but people will say bourbon. And I the number one tequila one. What are we doing here, guys? It's a good one-two punch you got there. I just, I'm just I think not it's a most overrated guy, drink on the planet. Okay, Cosmo. <laughs> I, I'm not a margarita guy. Salt, either, no really. salt. What are we doing? Salt, heavy salt. Yeah. Thick salt. The Look, rock salt looks yeah. like crack. Yeah, kind of it is like crack. Yeah. yeah, no, that's and I look and I prefer it on the rocks to frozen. But if you're at an all inclusive, there's nothing like a frozen poolside. I'm looking at this room. It doesn't matter. Margaret is a home run hit. They bring out the big. You know, I'm the not big, shitting on it. I'm just like I'm just you know. That's great. Margaret is a monster. I yeah, mean, it's huge. Uh, yeah, I, I think that I'm stunned that it's tenth double digits. Can't believe mm -hmm. that. Margarita's a monster. Kind of yeah. wish I would have taken it now, to be honest with you. But another, I had, yeah. Kind of came with my whole uh, Ukraine bit, so I had to stick to it. But I, the margarita is a great choice. I uh -huh. think too. Margarita, when if you're if you're in any way out with a, a female, I feel like margarita. I feel like girls love tequila. Oh, totally. Obviously, yeah. more so than other stuff. So you're going to be more inclined, obviously, to go. Well, yeah, I'll do a spicy marg, and you mm -hmm. get in that mix. So it's a monster girls' night thing too. Let's yeah. go get marks. Oh, with Brunch. a Z, marks, yeah. chips, yeah. and salsa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up? Yeah. So margarita there's like what does he get yeah, there's a like, lot of different i think you just get the standard flavor right okay. yeah, you get the the standard flavor. yeah if you guys want to come over the top of like I mean, a pineapple that margarita that someone else can pick like a peach strawberry peach margarita peach you ever so. had one of those puppies yeah because i think i haven't you, had a peach in so long you can't take all espressos frankie's wearing board, peach right. did you see him oh yeah, yeah. look good he looks good in peach yeah. yeah what now what color is that salmon yeah so you get the pate what about frozen what i'm wearing on the rocks i see or what he's wearing yeah he's wearing that's that's to me that's the important distinction does he get the frozen ones and on the rocks, or does he have pink. to choose between those? Do you think it's pink, Eddie? No, it's pink. Okay. It's pink. Yeah. I think Frankie might be borderline salmon, peach. Uh -huh. Sorry, what were you? Oh, no, you're good. We were we were arguing. So you does, he, frozen? does he get frozen and on the rocks, or does he have to choose between the two? No, I think I think you you in the rock on the rocks is what your yeah, your head is at, right? Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. You guys want to take the frozen? Go right ahead. You guys want to open up the frozen? Doors. I like on the rocks. Yeah. Well, you you had said. The frozen one. You yeah, well, I like it all. Pick. I mean, I yeah. like a margarita. I'm talking mm -hmm. to a room of guys that don't like a margarita. I like they're a margarita. Fine. I like them all. They're I mean, fine. I don't dislike them. I think it's like the them? most overrated. Love them. Oh, you love them. I think okay. they're delicious. What's so, what's, how do you rate Why the you most overrated? The most, we didn't pick it like as the first one. No, right? I. it's like people, like there's a bar around the corner from here. It's literally called Margarita Land. What is it? You know what I'm talking about? Right? It's closed right now, but yeah. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a whole bar dedicated to margaritas, like. No You're talking about Margaritaville? You have one of those? It's Jimmy Buffett's life. Right. It's a little tough, Dave. <laughs> have you ever been there? I've been to the one in Key West. It was not good. Yeah, but you're going up against Jimmy Buffett. Well, you met O.J. Simpson there. Uh, not there, but close to it. <laughs> Mad Max. Um, the, I, I just think, I don't know. They don't do much for me. I like the preference. Uh, yeah. I've I mean, been, they're not like gross or anything, but I, like I would never really go out of my way to get a margarita. I don't know. Like I can't remember the last time I ordered one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uncle Julio's coming <laughs> for you. Um, all right, Margarita off the board. Riggs, and then if you want to go grab your three-hitter, you guys could swap out. Boys, as always, thanks for having me. Thank you for thanks joining for round appreciate two. It. Yeah, appreciate Welcome the preparation there, pal. Yes. When does this go out? Does this go out now? No, Monday. No, Monday. Monday. Monday, yeah, yeah. All right, so hopefully... Uh, congratulations people, to Tiger Woods. Th exactly, thank you. I've, great work, Tiger. Can't believe he won it. Actually, I can, because I said he was going to win I can't it believe how composed you've been throughout this. The accident. Sometimes it's early. you got to build up yeah. to Sunday, baby. Thank you, gentlemen. Are you recovered from your travels? Ten hours of sleep last night. There you go. Love you that. See for you. Yeah, very often. See ya. There you go. Thank you, Rex. Thank you. Um, all right, Carl. On that note, you will make another pick. All right. So we don't need. I don't need to wait for the other four play guys. No, I don't think no. so. We could just keep them all. Uh, keep Lance them is going to fill them in. Well, yeah. Riggs is out of here. He said it. I love it. I mean, I would take this in the first round if I was picking fourth or fifth. I would have. This would have been my first round pick. I would have built an entire team around it. I'm taking mojito. It's uh -huh. crazy mojito last long. A good mojito is so fucking good. Outside, maybe you did a little yard work or something. You want to class it up. You ran through the domestics. You know, you really finish your day. That 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 touch of mint with the lime. And for the record, there's a major difference between my time mojito. Hundred percent, huge I really difference. Speak on it, but yeah, a, a, a mojito is in its rum based. It's light. It's crisp. It's sugary. It's got that. It's it's got the sugary base. 
but then it's got this sweet little kick at the end with the lime, and then it's got the mint there to kind of package everything up. Um, they serve them in the tall, skinny glass. They take forever to make. If you're out at a restaurant, and you order. They a do mojito, the wooden like yes herb crush thing. They got to mill it, or no? What do they do? They fucking crank. They're cranking it. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know what the like the stone. The, they got like the, the stone verb thing. would be for it. Yeah. Um, I can see the appeal to them. Mojito. When I drink them, they are refreshing. I just don't like mint anything. I don't even like mint toothpaste. So not for me, but I can understand why they right. are as popular as they so are. So he doesn't they, like blue. Me? <laughs> yeah. The blue makes you throw up. I have to go white toothpaste, yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Peroxide. I'll like, I'll like bubbles. Arm and hammer. I hate mint stuff. Like, wow. dark, like chocolate mint or mint chocolate. I hate it. Oh, really? I just hate mint. Mojito off the board. Frank, Frank what do you think of Mojito? Round three. Uh, I'm a mojito fan. Yeah. Third round value? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. it's a popular drink. Um, this is a little nerve wracking to be honest. Like coming in here, not knowing what's going on. Just coming in cold. Coming in cold. Are there any drinks left? Like all the good yeah. drinks have been so, taken. So, I, so Carl's. This is the third round you're joining us for, Frankie. So Carl just took mojito. I'm up next. Chief's up next, and then you are up. Okay. Um, there's drinks alive, but you know, this is where we're gonna start to get creative a little bit. Or do you think there's still a lot available? What do you think? I think there's a lot available. There's yeah. plenty available. Yeah. Okay. So you like mojito in the third round? It's uh, it may not have been my first. Like three one is a little early, but it's a great drink. There's no denying that mojito is not a great drink. Mm -hmm. Um, I got my number one rum, my number one tequila, and my number one uh, bourbon. So that's it's a good. uh, I think this could be my first time on camera not wearing a hat since I got hired. Honestly, I was gonna say why. That's what he said when he walked in here today. What's yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I just like didn't have one that matched, and I just figured like it's like. uh, the outfit just called for no hat today. I just felt like <laughs> I do have a feminine forehead, so I've I've always liked to keep that like mm. under wraps. But now today, I just thought I'd let it go. Really? Something about your guys' vibe is just I'm just looking at Frankie. Yeah, I was going to ask you this. Get yesterday. vulnerable, please. I didn't like you and I don't know each other too well, obviously, and I know people pick on you for being fat and they do all the photoshops. Have you lost weight? Because you are like you. Look, no, dude. I'm. I'm. Are Are you I, the same I, as you always have been? I'm the same. I, so th- those photos are just horrific, horrific angles of <laughs> just bad lighting. Di- really, okay. I have a fat face. I do like like when I do like I don't have the it's draw like baby anymore. Fat. Yeah, it just like won't go away. Did you ever get to the bottom of who posted that one of the chiclets cup? Yeah, it was. Uh, who was it? Um, fuck. Because that was that was tough. I think it was that, that one. I that was th- tough. <laughs> so I think like we had a guy that was the worst one ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever. That one was. I was like, whoa. We were talking. He's really let himself sip, go. I was sipping a beer, like, eating a hot dog. They they got me mid bite, and I think whoever was taking photos for the event like just sent a bunch of them to Devlin, and he's like, that one's That's gonna go viral. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. all we need. He knows uh, what he's doing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, then. Um, to keep it moving, mojito off the board. It's back to me. Um, I don't know. I suck at this, so I'm just gonna take shit I like. I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a dirty Shirley. Dirty I mean, Shirley. I love, the, I love the kitty cocktail as a kid, you know, and it's uh, it's a good drink. It's a good drink. <sighs> this is like right on the edge of cocktail city. Here. You think so? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna let you go because I love it. Grenadine with the vodka and this and the Seven Up. Uh, it's but it's got three. Mm-hmm. It I know fits, that's what we said. It's that's qualifies. what we said. It fits the parameters. Yeah. But a, a Shirley Temple is so much better than a dirty Shirley, though. There's something about the vodka that just instantly tarnishes the Shirley. But like a, a good, clean Shirley Temple cannot be beat. Very good, yeah. In a non-alcoholic draft, a yeah. non-alcoholic mm-hmm. beverage draft, totally. Shirley Temple is a clear first-round potential first overall pick. Totally. Frankie, you like dirty Shirley's? I don't know what a dirty Shirley is. I never. I didn't. I can Kitty use cocktail context. with vodka. Yeah, Shirley Temple with vodka. Yeah. Okay, so it's like grenadine sprite. Yeah. You get cherries it? in them. Oh um, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a delightful. How drink. do you say those cherries? What's what's the proper terminology? How do you pronounce with it? With the M. It starts with an M. Unless you're dead down. It yeah. Could be in an old fashioned or a Manhattan as well. It's a particular type of cherry that your cocktail drink cherry. Come on, Frankie. <laughs> Don't should look just, at Tom. Should we just, it's, not <laughs> yeah, quiz. It's, not, Tom. it's not a quiz. He was looking I would for say, help. I would <laughs> say it's maraschino. How would you, 
I would say that is I, I just don't I don't want to. When you said don't let your dad down, I just swallowed every word I was going to say. I would say Maraschino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what, what did Jake I say? My dad, who's now Chief's dad. Yep. I didn't want him to be. He's more of my <laughs> so dad than your funny. dad. That's very what did, funny. What did, he said like Maggiano's. I forgot how Jake said Maraschano. It was crazy. It was like he said Maraschano. Jake Bass said Maraschano, Maraschano or something. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maraschano Lynch. Manchank. But he is yeah. also the hoity-toity drink guy. Which makes That's why me we think, sent him in here first. Th- right, which it. makes me think I've been pronouncing it wrong the entire Jake time. Jake Bass likes, I don't know how, did you guys talk to Jake Bass for a while? He likes to like things that he thinks people will like him for, I think. Oh, really? You oh. know what I mean? We, well, he's a skateboarder. So right, so it's like he likes like the cool things. Like, oh, Jake Bass likes skateboarding. Jake Bass likes old fashions. You know what I mean? There's like those, I'm not saying he doesn't like them genuinely, yes. but he just happens to like all the things that like. Are fancy? Yeah. Okay. Or okay. interesting. Or interesting. Yeah. Like he doesn't okay. just like anything not interesting. So is he yeah. cool or is he, he not is cool? He is cool, okay. but it's like, it's just convenient, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes it, it's <laughs> it makes it's suspicious. suspicious. It's suspicious. Like he, it oh, certainly does. He likes does. skateboarding and fucking drinks old fashions every night? Yeah. Like, come on, dude. He doesn't sip on a fucking vodka Red Bull. Yeah. I think if you, um, if you have your head on, I think you get that cherry name right. I'm just saying. But that's why you got stage fright. So yeah, Dirty Shirley off the board. Good pick. Um, thank you. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'll take a Paloma. So if I'm do, if I'm doing uh, like a Mexican night, I'll go Paloma over Margarita every time. I think that's just a little bit, little bit better. I like the little, a lot of times they have a little grapefruit juice in it, a little tang in there. So I think uh, Paloma in the third round. If if we're staying a little fruity here this round, Paloma is my pick. Okay, Paloma. Um, I mean that was your that was his answer. What, your response then, Carl? It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Frank, you look I like a Paloma. I like a, I like a little smoky Paloma. It's a great golf course drink. Yep. Paloma is a great offset if you have too many transfusions. Like you, you, you're going to get your group a, a round of drinks, and you bring back a Paloma. You're like, whoa! You just threw us a curveball, and we like it. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like tequila is a, a lot to drink on the golf course, but when you put it in, I'm, yeah. Lurch is a huge Paloma guy. He kind of introduced us to them on the golf course, um, which was kind of your point, or no, Ed's point, that. The golf course guys have yes, that. Yeah, yes, an advantage. You, golf course guys definitely have an advantage. So, tequila, lime juice, some uh, grapefruit. Now, can't you get grapefruit Squirt. poisoning or something? Is there something like yeah, your liver? Yeah, if you liver? eat too much, you could die. What do you got to do? Like fucking beer bong, like, thirty fucking like twelve grapefruits. Just like the actual fruit. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let's have it. How many? I don't know. I mean, it's very acidic, but yeah. Um, all right, that's off the board. Frankie Barella, you're up. This is a tough one, boys. I mean, you guys have taken my drinks. What do you guys talk like? So when it comes to um, like the Cosmopolitan and martinis, they have to be specific or like a vodka martini is yeah, is you martini could, just off the board. You now? Get, no, 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 you could take you, like that's you can't take that whole category. So you could take a certain flavor if you like that. Wow. Um, I think I'm going to do something that I didn't want to do when I came in here. Oh, no. I'm going to take something a little early here mm-hmm. just just because I know it's solid. It's a pina colada. Mm. Yeah. It's a pina colada. <laughs> That's what I thought Ed was getting at the other. I thought with, about uh, it. I with, thought uh, about it. It just reminds you of good times. You sip on a pina colada. You, you just picture an ocean and a breeze mm-hmm. in front of you. There's a song about them. I mean, <laughs> you want to talk about a good cocktail? If you like pina Is that the number coladas? one frozen from a machine? Has number one machine no, frozen? I, I don't I think, think so. it's probably no, I, second or third. I think there's third. another one. Because you know what I'm talking about? They're, churn, they're just yeah. churning the pina colada waiting for you to come up. That, wet bathing just, suit. You see the white one in there. You're like, I know that's the one that's going to make me feel good yeah. today. Mm-hmm. The red's sometimes a little too sweet. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they got orange next to it. You're like, oh, just give me just the yeah, fucking. Yeah, what's in that one? You know mm-hmm. what the pina colada tastes like. Yeah. Pina colada flavored food or, or yeah. snacks. Yeah. Come on, guys. So I've never been like a big coconut guy. So... I tried like I, I. It's one of those drinks that this summer I'm gonna give it another shot. It's been you have to. It's been like maybe ten years because really? I had one that I'm like, this is not me, and I think I, you know, it's enough time has passed. Like, I, I, ju- say, I just did eggplant for the first time since I was twelve. It was great. So now yeah. I'm gonna go. This is gonna be the summer of, pe- of trying peanut. What kind of eggplant again. did you have? How I made an eggplant parm at home. Ooh. And how, uh, how much did it weigh? It was it was not up to uh, Vin Dog standards, but it was it was you know sizable. He approved. Okay. Right, yeah. Okay. There Vin Dog approved that. Pina approved. colada, I like it. That was mm-hmm. a nice pick, though, Frankie. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that. See, th- I was getting shit for Cosmo, and I know it's like Cosmo, you can get anywhere, and it's not specifically segregated to like beach and being on an island and you know warm weather and palm trees, but like everybody shit on me for it. It's all the same. Like they're all in the same category to me. 
Do you like almond nice joy, Frankie? Cosmo? I don't think so. Like so joy? I'm not a big coconut fan when it comes to snacks like mm-hmm. that. When it comes to uh, uh, I don't like an almond joy. I don't enjoy an almond. They're joy. gross. Coconut donut. See, I'm yeah, not I mean, a big coconut guy outside of the pina coladas. Okay. There's something about it. That's why I think you definitely give it another chance. I'll give it another just, chance. It's a different vibe. It's a different taste. Once it's all mixed in with the alcohol, you're gonna love it. You I actually like, like it Cosmo too. pick too. I I really Thank you. I think <laughs> I don't with your it. with your shirt, this is you, this is the perfect. I needed vibe. to do it. Yeah. We all, yeah, like, yeah. all yeah, just yeah, kind yeah. of fruity drinks as you're <laughs> yeah, wearing the, right. the peach quarters. That's right. Perfect. You guys shit on the Cosmo? No, it's just first round. First round. When you think of a cocktail, a Cosmopolitan is right. I mean, I didn't sure. It's like that's like the that's the image of a cocktail. Nah. I would agree with that. I would agree with uh, that. He's probably right about that, actually. Like if yeah, you had a stock a image for a cocktail, would you not pick a Cosmopolitan? Probably an old-fashioned, to be honest. One, I of, the, think one, one of the two. One and two. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. So, I would say. <laughs> I'm going to go get Trenton here. Oh, yeah. The greatest right. person on Trent, the planet. Trent, fourth yeah. round? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. What are you we're doing saving, to Jonesy? Sa- oh, he's, there. he's the e-bug. Extra backup, whatever. Yeah. 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 Emergency yeah. backup goalie. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Frankie. Thank you. All right, White Sox, Dave. All right, I got the vodkas. <laughs> now I need a whiskey. I'm going with the whiskey sour. All right. Uh, oddly enough, my draft partner, uh, where were we? We were somewhere. I think it might have been the bar school, but I don't know. We were somewhere uh, recently, and she started ordering whiskey sours. I was like looking at her. I'm like, you do not look like someone who would be ordering a whiskey sour. Um, but I'm proud of her for doing that. And uh, are you familiar with whiskey sours? Um, I love them. Yeah, I haven't. Had I love as, them. I haven't really had as many. as They I are kind of gross. You got like eggs in it and shit, but they're fucking. They're delicious. The, the, at the fan, same time, the fancy places will do like the egg white foam. On yeah. The top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello, uh, Trent. Hey guys, Trent. He just took whiskey sours. Thoughts on that? Um, I like whiskey sours. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's a good pick. I will say this is hard to do in this format. For mm-hmm. you guys, yeah. For, for us, sure. yeah. no doubt. Because I don't, I mean, I'm looking at the list that I was just given on what's been taken, and I haven't even really looked it over yet. Um, but I feel like we are behind the eight ball because it's just, I get thrown in here and I get feel like I'm thrown in the deep end. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a cohesion draft. And, you know, nothing says cohesion like four play in Barcelona, Chicago. So that's right. That's <laughs> um, the most. So whiskey sour. All right, here. whiskey sour. So that's where we're at. White Sox, Dave. Any other comments? Carl, Chief, nothing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, I'm also not a big cocktail guy. So this is a tough Neither draft for me. You're not. Neither okay. Not, yeah. I didn't so, know if I yeah. was going to admit that or not because no. then it's like. We tell the truth. Well, what, do you, what do you drink? Bush Light? I, I'm a beer guy. Yeah. 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 Always. I, yeah. Always. Mm-hmm. And then that's, you know, I'm beer. not a, I'm not opposed to cocktails. Like, I don't look down on them like, oh, look at that guy drinking a cocktail. Just not my speed. Mm-hmm. I like uh, it. White Sox, Dave, you get one more. And for my last pick, until Hannah takes the wheel for me, I'm going with the number one stupid slushy drink daiquiri. Is that what you were thinking? For number, like the frozen wheel thing. You it's can, either a daiquiri or a frozen marg would be the top two, and I think pina colada. Like that's the the holy trinity of frozen drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're taking regular daiquiri? Taking just a, a strawberry. A, well, <laughs> they're frozen? typically strawberry. I know. I was gonna say. Yeah. Like I just Fro- frozen strawberry daiquiri. No, I don't want them frozen. I want like an actual one. But okay. um, obviously, to Carl's point and to your point, like that, I think that is the number one frozen drink. You can just buy them. I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember my uh, my grandparents had their fiftieth uh, wedding anniversary, and they had like the nice catered banquet we go to, and that's when I found out you could like order virgin daiquiris. And I was sitting at my grandparents' house like two weeks later, and they're going through the bill, and my grandmother's like, who drank all these fucking virgin daiquiris over here? These things are eight fifty a pop. So my cousin Timmy and I just went to town on them. I've, since then, I've just always had a spot with for a frozen daiquiri. So Came after it. Vir- yeah. Those were virgins, but yeah. I, I still think a virgin daiquiri place. So we were yeah, on, I agree. We were on vacation. This is my favorite. Hold on. Let's, let, let me get a last word from White Sox. Dave okay. walking out. White I won Sox. the poll. I'm going home. I got nine minutes to get home. It's 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 like uh, the wolf. White in, Sox uh, prediction. Uh, they're going to win seven to two. Okay. Okay. Well, what I about for a, the season? And we're going to cash on Mash the Lefty. And what about for the season? Are they going to win the World Series? Dave? 95 wins, um, and they're going to win the World Series. Yes. Okay. I'm like Winston Wolf. I'm going to – he's like, that's 30 minutes away. I'll see you in 10. I'll see my couch in 10. Thank you, David. Fuck all of you equally. There he is. He's wow. Cool. I do love Pulp Fiction. I love that movie. Is that? What I'm about? I do know what you're talking yeah. about. Mm-hmm. It's a great movie. Um, you like strawberry daiquiris. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a human with taste buds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That's, a, that's, a, yeah. that's a nice pick. Fourth round, too, especially. It's good value. I very, appreciate it. Very good value. Similar story to Carl. My, we were on vacation somewhere. My brother, who is like, he was like five or six at the time. 
where it was one of those places where you could just charge everything in the room. So he'd be like running around the pool, like we'd be there, no one was like necessarily like paying attention to him. Rang up like hundreds and hundreds of dollars over maybe a thousand dollars in, oh, in virgin daiquiris <laughs> over the course of a week vacation just charging it to the room my dad's like what the fuck is this it's like what it's fake yeah, it's, 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 it's not real not money, real money. Hey, getting yeah. a number getting the number just run yeah. it to yeah 7-eleven right? yeah. Number. Right. <laughs> what a gateway C- can't even write but he could sign his name on the check that's right <laughs> that's like kids on now who just order stuff on amazon you yeah. just you just have access to the account and they spend three thousand dollars worth and oh, it yeah. all just shows up and the parents are like what happened? What the fuck was it? Like, didn't yeah. Kendrick Perkins' kids buy like thousands of dollars worth of like I'm fo- sure Fortnite that's... stuff with his credit card? Like yeah, like, well, like, like apps too. Like, yeah, like, remember, it's like I'm buying these new. You're buying skins or whatever. You're yeah. just like I want to look cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Kids don't know what money is. No. Stupid. I kids. barely know what money is. <laughs> it was oh, yeah, like cash. Uh, I barely. When was the last time you guys carried cash? You guys carry cash every day. I when you got some on me right now. Why? I just He's, prefer it. Eddie Eddie was born in 1938. I prefer it. You are an old soul in yeah. that way. I just prefer it. I like to um, like withdraw money, and then that's where I, you know what I mean. I don't have to see a million transactions, and like you know, I, yeah. I, don't know, I just now I know I got a couple hundred, and that's where it goes. You keep a couple hundred on, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 yeah. I came back from that Vegas trip with your your boys out there, like up pretty big from blackjack. Yeah. And I was just walking around with like a wad for a while, and it was like it was fake. It was like up. Oh, Here's a hundred, you know. Here's a hundred because I just had all hundreds. It was all winnings. I just was like, Psh, get it because it is, doesn't feel real. To that's me. right. That is the good thing about cash is it feels fake because I never ever have it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I still prefer it. Yep. We know. <laughs> Trent, you're up. Okay. So, what I'm going to pick here, it doesn't look like it's been taken off the board yet, which is good. Um, White Russian. Hmm. Okay. Wait, wait. Love, love, I love when the whole room nods their heads. That makes that made me feel good. And my justification for taking that pick or reasoning, I should say, um, I mean, I like white Russians, but it, that that feels like a um, that feels like a playing to the crowd pick. And I, I'm I'm being I'm being honest about that. That's going to look good on the graphic. Well, what's funny is your uh, your partner, your drafter number two, Riggs, took a Kiev mule yeah. to get rid of Moscow out of the name, and now you're just throwing Russian, <laughs> white Russian. That out whole of game crap. plan's gone. Oh all, shit! All of his goodwill is just out the window now. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, who, do guys, yeah, who do you guys stand with? I mean, what the fuck? Oh shit! Oh, no. Well, well now that's about cohesion. I, I, now the graphic might not look as good because I'm picturing it. We got Zelensky out there. We got Putin sitting right I, here. I, 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 so I said out there that this was going to be my pick. Not a peep about like, hey, maybe we should, you know, audible to a different yeah, name. Yeah. Russian sympathizer Trent over here. That's that's unfo- that's really unfortunate. <laughs> that's super unfortunate. I will say I'm still sticking with it because I don't have a backup. So no, I, I think it's a good pick. All jokes aside. And I think um, is there any concern, though, about the cream? Yeah, there's yeah. always concern about yeah. the cream. But, you know, I, I can't, you know, mm-hmm. I, again, you kind of got me on my heels here because I'm, I'm picking it not because I'm a particular fan of it. I'm picking it because, well, What's I thought it was going to look good on the graphic, but I'm now picturing Vladimir Putin on the graphic, yeah. and that's going to, you know, that's going to hurt me on the Internet. So the clue is, is too good. I think you can overcome I think you can overcome the stigma here. You can come over a, a war-torn part of the world yeah, it's because a, of Kahlua. It's, it's such a good drink. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I remember being abroad and being in high school, and if you are over 16, you can drink in England, but you can't buy you can't buy it unless you're 18 or something. Or I don't mm. know what the fucking rule is. I just know if you're 16, you can drink. And so we're at the hotel, and I'm like, you have the. It's similar to like you know having charging it to the room or whatever yeah and for a new year's eve i don't know why maybe maybe somebody was watching the big lebowski or just white russian was in my head but i got a taste for it i got a taste for it early and like that was my drink i remember having like 10 of these things and just getting absolutely fucking bombed on them one thing i do know is you can't and that, I'm, I'm impressed by that because you drink too many of them and the cream does become a problem and you start to like curdle in your yep. stomach and you're like i'm not feeling so good another thing that you'd mentioned the movie i think is gonna win me points hopefully People um, can put the war aside for a second. Which yeah, well, felt I felt mean, bad to say right there. I felt it in the room. It, I fucking your, felt it. Your eyebrows I, went up. I was like, I was like, is this? Is my Am brain I, telling me to say those ones? Those? What's going with the other words? Any of the other words? Nice guy, Trent. But if we can't put the run, war aside, I should for a run. Minute. I should run out of this room. Let, let's, let's put mass murder aside. <laughs> Put it Man, aside in, I, I'm in the name fucking, of cocktails. I'm fucking sweating right now. <laughs> That's a good pick. I, I stand with Ukraine, d- despite despite, <laughs> despite the, the, the um, white Russian name. Um, I you know, 
Boy, I, I don't even know what to <laughs> say got, anymore. You got any yellow you can put on? I wish. Yeah. I wish I had some right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, White Russian is my pick. <laughs> Thank you. So Trent. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. All right, White Russian is off the board. Uh, Trent, I know the Masters just started. Do you want to stick around for the rest of the round, or do you want to go whatever you want to do? I understand. I know you got a stream. Um, I can stick around for a little bit. Yeah, just for just for three more picks, the fourth round. Yeah, sure, I can do that. All right, so Chief, you're. uh, I'm gonna Chief. I'm gonna Chief. I'm gonna Chief. So I have. I have your last pick. I know. That's why I I want this to be a more popular drink because it's delicious. I just pulled up a top fifty cocktails like internet thing to see if it was on there. Was not. I'm drafting it anyways. It's called a gold rush. It's a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of lemon juice, and a little bit of honey, and you shake it and pour it over ice. It is fan-fucking-tastic. It's become like my go-to drink. I used to be an old-fashioned guy. Now I order gold rushes, and they're they're oh, they're unbelievable. They're really, literally my favorite drink. I've never heard of it. I so know. you're you're right about it. it's yeah. notoriety. There's yep. just not much to it. But it's, all the ingredients that you listed sounded yeah. delicious. And, and they blend perfectly for some reason. What so. were the ingredients again? You take bourbon, mm-hmm. like an ounce of lemon juice and like uh, and honey, and then you put it all in the shaker and shake it with ice and pour it over ice, and it comes out and it's so smooth, so delicious, and it's like the the honey, like you don't really taste the bourbon, and the honey and the uh, the, the sweetness of the honey and the sourness of the lemon juice kind of balance each other out. Mm. And it's just smooth and really really good. That sounds really good. It's like a whiskey wow. sour, but not really that sour. I'll back you on that, Chief. You turn me on to them. They're really good. I made the day that we were making deer meat in here. I made a bunch of uh, gold rushes for the boys. Mm. And they were very popular. Damn, now I got to try one. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Gold rush off the board. It's back to me. My last pick. Actually, though, before I do make my pick, I want to talk about innovative care. Um, everybody knows Innovative Care if you listen to uh, Redline Radio. Uh, it is your spot for ADHD medication. Um, obviously, it's a total headache, and it's really time to switch to Innovative ADHD. Innovative, it's a real medical clinic. It's not one of those online-only refill services. They're based here in Chicago. And uh, these are medical providers that you can trust. You'll definitely want to use them for ADHD management. But you can also turn to Innovative for other things related to primary care or urgent care. Nobody has time for extra doctor visits. Simplify your ADHD management with Innovative. After your initial appointments, you can see your provider virtually through telemedicine, which is great. Nobody wants to go somewhere, right, Chief? You want to hop on video chat or whatever and get your prescriptions filled? So easy. Yeah, so telemedicine visits save you time. Get online, get your medication free fill, and get back to your life. Innovative ADHD accepts insurance for evaluations and uh, medication refills. So a lot of places don't take insurance too. Is that right, Carl? Yeah, no, a lot of places don't. That's tough. Nice thing about this place, they do take insurance. Mm -hmm. You must be a resident of Illinois though. Um, And one more time, I do want to stress, they take insurance and they're based here in Chicago. So go to InnovativeADD.com to sign up. That's InnovativeADD.com to sign up. And uh, yeah, stop getting your uh, ADHD medication filled different ways. Go to Innovative, they'll take care of you. Okay, it's to me. I'm gonna go with a drink that's more, um, it's more symbolic, you okay. know, and it, and I think you'll appreciate this. Okay, uh-huh. you're on the golf course. All right, uh-huh. and uh, this makes you, this transforms you into this man, and this man's a great guy when it comes to drinking cocktails. I already know what it is, and I'm taking the John Daly. Yeah, I felt it. Yes, the John Daly. It's an Arnold Palmer with vodka, and. Uh, what, what, what you're shaking I, your head. I don't know if this yeah, passes. I don't know if this passes the Ice litmus tea, test. lemonade, and no, because uh, 50 is one one component. Yeah, no. you pull, no. you pour no. the Arnold I'm not Palmer. You throw right? a John Daly I, I, in here, pal. What, what's the criteria? Because yeah. I missed all Cocktail, three, three, three mixed ingredients. Drinks. That's a mixed drink. I would say that's, that's a mixed drink. I, I hate. I, don't know. I I hate it, but I. Yeah. If I was at a 7-Eleven, I could go to the iced tea. I could go to the lemonade. But you wouldn't. And you would go to the next door and just take out the Arnold Palmer, which is how you introduced it. And we were rough letting you get Shirley Temple. That was right on the fence there. No, we were letting Grenadine get Grenadine, dirty Shirley. Grenadine counts. Though. Okay, that's the key that component. Is, yeah. that. These are very Grenadine t- is a kicker. That is right on the fence of a mixed drink and a cocktail, Ed. We're All right. talking about cocktails. I'll, I'll, but now if you um, – I mean, I'm listening to arguments, but I'm with Chief. I, I don't think – a John Daly. It's but your argument is because it's already pre-mixed is your point? Yeah, which because I, Which I understand. It derives its name. It's just an alcoholic golfer. So it derived its name whoa, from whoa, 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 whoa. Right. That's right. that's that's what it is. Don't boys. throw the A word yeah. around like my, that. It's yeah, too much. <laughs> no, it's not. That's that's how they came up with the name. John Daly likes to drink, so you take a golfer 
That's why they called it that. Well, it was Arnold Palmer. Yeah, it it's an Arnold, Pal- Arnold Palmer. He's the golfer, and then he poured the alcohol. That makes it a John Daly. That's All right. right. I'll, uh, I'll accept a veto. Veto. Um, but I think there is an argument. Uh, so can I take something here? The next to my board is two picks that already happened that are mixed. Is that draft eligible? We'll, we'll find out. A Miami Vice. Because I think, personally, I think it's a completely different thing because it's the best of both worlds. Like, I think you get the sweetness from the strawberry daiquiri. You get the uh, the elusiveness from the pina colada. And uh, I, think I will allow it. It's the best. Uh, no it's the best. Like, like, to me, it's like, why would you get either one of those when you can get a Miami Vice and you get both? It's a good drink. In my opinion. I will not veto. I'm unfamiliar with it, but it sounds really good. It's yeah, a pina colada strawberry yeah. daiquiri. Yeah, if you mix those two things, it's just yeah. like... Well, it's a party. It's awesome. It's a great, uh, great, it's a great spring break too. Drink. Yeah, exactly. Great it's awesome. Name. Yeah, it's an awesome name. Um, so I'm happy to get Miami Vice in the fourth slot. Uh, Carl, you are up again. Hmm. Your last pick, technically, until Tom takes over. Tom, look at me. Look me in the eyes. Do I, tr- do I trust you? What do you think? Do it's I, your last pick, pal. I know. So I'm saying, like, do, do you want me to go? Am I sick, or do you want to party? I want to say while they decide that I, I, I also I want to continue to say that I stand with Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make that as clear as I can. I just want to make that clear. Right. No mistakes right. about it. Trent's right. going to join the. Uh, there, there's been yeah. a rally in Ukrainian village like every weekend. Yep. I think no. you should probably show up. I think uh, at this point I think I have to. Yeah. So Master <laughs> Sunday is out. You're going to be yeah. you're with the people of Ukraine. I got to I got to be a voice. Really? Yep. Trent's Master's weekend is ruined. Should I do it? Because <laughs> he's waiting for this drop on Monday. Right. Right. Fuck. Should I do it? Do it. All right. Um, Tom, I'm putting a lot of trust in here, man. <laughs> All right, so I have, I got like I said, I have my number one rum. I got my number one tequila. I got my number one bourbon. It's time to get fucked up, though, boys. <laughs> Jägermeister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a Long Island. Okay. I had th- I had thought about that. I had that on my list. What okay. do you know? Well, it's the okay. You don't like it? No, no. I, I it's not that I don't like it. I I was ta- who was I, t- I was talking about with Jake earlier, and he thought this is like where around he thought it would go. Um, you don't really like having a, it's a step, it's a step above ordering the Red Bull vodka, like mentally committing. Like when you order a Red Bull vodka, you're like, you're basically like, I need to get to the next level. Yeah. And you know what you're doing to yourself. You know, it's not going to go well, but you have to do it anyways. There is a level above that. There, there is something bigger than Mount Kilimanjaro. It's called Mount Everest. <laughs> That's the Long Island iced tea when you're going out. When you consciously it, look at a bartender, like, yeah, I'll take a Long Island. There's, like, this mutual respect of, like, you fucking lunatic. It's There's, also you make everyone else in your group make a decision as well, where it's we're either going to watch this guy go down in flames or we're all going to order one and we're going to go down together. So everybody's got to make a decision. What type of group are you guys? Would you guys all go, take one together or would you? I think I, it depends on the group. I think it depends on the group. I think I'm – Yeah, I mean, I some foreplay guys. I'm, oh. Well, oh, our group? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm too old. I'm too old. Like for a for a Long Island iced tea these days. I really do think I am because I know where that's going to go, and I know how I'm going to feel the next day. So I I leave the table. The young kids in our group, the the Jake Basses and the Brendan Jones, is going to come in here after me. I think they probably say, "Let's line them up." <laughs> but I, I'm I'm at home and I'm laying in bed and I'm already I've already hit like two REM cycles. It's mm-hmm. his number one drink. It's our intern Danny's number one drink. Well, that's a problem then. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's, he's twenty four. Oh, how old yeah. are you? Oh, yeah, he's twenty four. Yeah. That's fine. That's a problem. I, I, there is something about those two where if you were if you order a double of that, you're on the fucking moon, like in a, in a heartbeat. You're on a planet they haven't discovered yet. Yeah. If you yeah. like double doubles double. of Long Islands are way stronger than a double of anything else. I, there's no science behind that, but I'm convinced. Can that's it a be fact. made? Like finally though, like can it be made nice? Like, cause you got that college version so grained in your head. So here's, right. so, like, do you know he's at, here's it is, it's a shot of vodka, it's a, it's a, shot it's a, it's of tequila, a it's a nuke, shot of light rum, <laughs> shot of triple sec, Whew. a shot of gin, oh, and a splash of cola. It's a nuke. That's Trent, a nuke. Trent, that's five shots and a splash Trent, of cola. Trent thoughts on nukes? <laughs> Anti. <laughs> <laughs> Anti. I, I'm I'm world peace guy. I'm for world peace. You want to put the war aside? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get out of this room. I have to. Everybody, just you know, send send links to Trent on Monday. 
I have to yeah. leave now. Please. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should go work at a <laughs> refugee camp right. on Monday. Well, I'm, the, I'm leaving. The, the route is all right. La, final words before you leave, though. Final words before I leave. You don't. Yeah. I I stand with Ukraine. Okay. Slava thank Ukraine. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank. I, I I'm not gonna thank you guys for what's going on right now. <laughs> But I'm no, gonna, nobody said anything. Trent. No, it was nice to have you in yeah. here, dude. It, really, hey, seriously, bro. Thanks. You, for you guys have been great. It's uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. How was your last podcast with Barcelona Sports? All right, <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs> see you, Mr. Trent. Barstool Iowa starting back up soon under a different name <laughs> with Trent. Um, all right, the fifth round. Here's where the uh, another big Ukraine twist happens. Actually... We'll get Jonesy in here. You can go grab Hannah. You can go grab Danny. Um, tell one of them to bring a chair. Um, and uh, Tom Lay, let's just uh, let's keep rolling here. So I'm up right now, right? Yes, you're up. Okay. Very excited. In comes Jonesy. Here you are, the backup goalie. Fellas. How we doing? What up? <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom is up. So this is the fifth round is going to be you and um, our four behind the scenes people too. So I'm uh, ecstatic this came to me. I had like all – I was trying to dig deep of like like – the the deep brown uh, cocktails. I'm surprised this this reached to the fifth round. I'm going with Negroni. Oh, Tom, uh, I love a, you. It's an all time classic. It's great. Gin, Campari, and Vermouth. Not gonna pretend I even know like what Vermouth and Campari is. I just know you order that. It like looks incredible. It's like a top three most beautiful cocktails. The orange peel, the mm -hmm. glass it's in. It's always paired with like you feel like you're like lakeside in Italy somewhere. Uh, beautiful red color. I don't know. It's just yeah. like I'm, I was looking up. Do, do I was looking it up often? to get like the uh, yeah. Whenever I can, it's yeah. always like when you. It's like it's like when you see like I'm not a big uh, cocktail guy. So like when I see like a cocktail list, if I see a place that does old fashions or Negronis, those are like the two I get. Mm -hmm. And I'm a huge like gin is like gin and like whiskey are like my two liquors that I always go with. So like okay. very excited to have this one. If you look on cocktail lists, like rankings, the one that I just pulled up to see if Cold Rush was on it, Negroni was actually number one. Oh, really? So right. I was looking that up to, to it, like to double check the ingredients. Yeah. And it's like, you know, they're calling it the bartender's cocktail. It's like the number one cocktail. Yeah. Like, wow. I'm, I'm shocked it got, it got this late. Yeah. It, it's great. The only reason I didn't take it is because, A, I want to have Gold Rush on there. And it's and, Italian. And it's Italian. Yeah. And... Uh, so the third, I'm just not a big gin guy, but if you're like you can have you have to have gin, it's Negroni every time. That's yeah, a it's, it's not a really old, good pick. It's not you an know overwhelming this, Jones, gin. Jake mentioned it earlier, and I was like, oh, isn't that a beer? And then he's uh, like, that's Peroni. Peroni. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Ah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. But, Same country though. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Negroni. It Peroni. Sounds, sounds like, yeah. yeah, sounds like it would be. But no, I don't even think I've ever had one. Tom, it's a great pick, man. Thank you. So there's that's a that's I think I think this board is pretty pretty it's crazy a fucking strong. Solidly strong Yours? board, yes. Mm -hmm. I think we have a Feidelberg every pick as a first round board. <laughs> you guys do got a good board. Yep. I just wonder if that Long Island's just gonna channel bad memories and just that's okay. people I don't out. think so. I think no. it's the opposite. I think no, it's, it's a, a, yeah, you get the balance. It's a bachelor party drink. Yeah. No, I mean old fashioned really anchors you up top too. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Negroni, Tom, strong. I knew Tom would be good. Tom was my uh I would have picked Tom. He was Tom. the ace in the hole, yeah. Tom was my clear-cut number yeah. one guy mm -hmm. to, to draft, so I'm very <laughs> lucky. Right? No offense, Danny. You are you just don't know this type of shit that well. That was a, you're not sophisticated. You just want to sit he down? was a bartender. Sit down, you sit were down my, man. Yeah. Come on sit over. Because you're, you're with Chief. Well, so just sit down and banter Well, if you got anything to say. And then get, go grab Hannah. Tell her to grab a chair and sit, sit here. Um, Is that fuck, you, fuck you, Danny. You're not a you're not a cocktail guy? Who? Is that? Do you think that's an insult? I said that... Uh, Oh, I'm not? No, I'm saying, do you think if someone was like, you're not a cocktail guy, do you think that's an insult? Well, do we say no. with that tone it is? No. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't think so, because there's different, you know, some yeah. people are just, I think it's worse to be like what Glenny Ball's in, he's just an exclusive shot guy now, when he's not drinking high noons. That's crazy. And Marty is too. Fast. Yeah, they're just exclusive, let me get a shot of vodka, like, you know, and that's just what they do. That's just problematic. Well, that, I mean, it's just, I That's problematic. Just a different way of drinking, I guess. Um, Danny, do you know what's on our board? I do remember that. I remember yeah. going out with them. And they're just like, you want to do a shot of vodka? I'm yeah. like, what, dude? Mm -hmm. All right, then. It's uh, it's my pick, my last pick. I will uh, obviously give it to my guy Harry over there. Harry, how we feeling? Feeling good. Do you uh, not like my list? Be honest. No, I like it. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. I'm stuck between two here. I had a couple on my board that already got picked, but I'm staying tropical. I'm going to go with a painkiller. Fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, was that, that was, a good one. That was yours? Never heard of it. Let me let me, help, hear, let me hear a little bit about it, Harry. Yes, yeah, so let me pull this up. It's a great name. God damn it! It's got it's kind of got that Long Nerf? Island vibe where it's just a bunch of different uh, 
bunch of different shit in there. Yeah, but it's it's got like the frozen vibe to it. Definitely good for warm weather, tropical. It's got <coughs> rum, four mm. parts pineapple juice, coconut. Yep, you got it. Orange juice. Everybody's heard of this bag. before. No, oh, okay. I, never, I never. I'm just reading it. Oh, okay. yeah, to be say. clear, I'm that was on my board. That's a cr- that's a great one. Oh, this is, is what it? you get like when you're going to Florida. This is like an all time beach drink. This is like if you don't know what else to order, when in doubt, you get a painkiller. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There's gotta, a reason why they limit you to a certain amount too. At some bars, they only allow you to get like one or oh, two. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's just so there's so much alcohol. So in it. loaded. Yeah. If you, Carl, are you familiar with this? No, this sounds no. like a hand grenade on Bourbon Street. It sounds like one of those things you have to like. Uh, you gotta like sign a waiver form to get one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's it called? A painkiller? Yeah. That's not a good name. Yeah, that's like <laughs> that's that's problematic yeah. too. Yeah. It's, it's like, Should be banned. How many painkillers you have? Today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have a frozen opioid. I don't think so, guys. Yeah, someone's got pulled over for this conversation. Have you? Do you, have you had one or no? No, I didn't. No. What's in it again? Um, it I don't even know if it didn't even sound. I don't even know if it sounded that good. Pulled. Rum, four parts pineapple juice, uh, one part cream of coconut, one part orange juice with a sprinkle of nutmeg. That sounds like there's too much shit in it. No, no, I trust my guy Harry. Nutmeg. Then Danny and Tom liked it, so cream of coconut. Uh, that's the, thank uh, you, Danny. Thank you, Tom. Is uh, there pulp in pineapple? Like, does it have like that pulp? Oh, uh, pineapple juice. Yeah, pineapple juice. I don't know. It's a good. Does it have like? No. A, I feel like it no. has to, right? No, I don't no. like that shit. No. Do nah, I drink a lot of co- uh, coconut water for, uh, but not as much as I drink Revitalite. So pineapple though, yeah. Is pineapple, you know, I you said like pineapple, not coconut. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like pineapple is a little pulpy. Yeah, I don't like that feeling. You know, no, you're, 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 you're no pulp. I'm no pulp. No, either. definitely no pulp. Chief's a pulp guy, but I'm not a big juice guy. No, no. Okay. That classic dull pineapple juice that everyone makes. There's no pulp in there. There's no pulp. Yeah, that's no. probably true. Okay. The little the little can with the yeah, ribs the, on it. The yeah, right. one. yeah, I am one thousand percent pineapple juice in cocktail as soon as we're done. <laughs> Which I one? Get, I get the shakes. Probably a Bloody Mary. Okay. Oh, there we go. My pick. How are you pick? Uh, all right, Chief, you're up. Danny, you're taking this pick. That's tough. My last two picks just got snaked for me, but I might. This might be a a Barada pick. In Barada fashion. All right. Because so I don't have much left on my board. We're going back to back tough names for drinks. I'm going with the penicillin. Oh, I've you never got, had one of those. Got, you got scotch. You got some simple syrup in there. I'm allergic. Uh, lemon. So even better then. <laughs> um, <laughs> say, say it again. Honey. Say it again. You got scotch, um, <clears throat> ginger, simple syrup, and some honey in there. Okay. Anytime you get a cocktail with a little honey in, I think that's diversity for our board. Okay. I don't mind that, Dan. We're, we got a little cold. It's February. We got a little cold. Absolutely. You take one of those. You sweat it out. You're feeling better? Yeah. Okay. That's why. That's, I think that might be why they call it penicillin. Okay. It basically doubles as a medicine. It's another. There's another popular drink out there that is in the similar similar category that I was considering for, for my fourth round pick. That sounds very similar to a penicillin. So I think the big difference here is scotch. This I is like our scotch. first scotch-based cocktail on the board here, guys. I like scotch. It's, it's, been, it's been a pleasure working with you. Yep. Good it job. sounds like another problem. Welcome to the gang. I would be like, so I'm just going to be like, oh, mine's cough medicine. <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like we got some problematic names going on. Right? Yeah, we have a uh, painkiller followed by the penicillin. Jones so. is about to take purple drink. Right. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Interested. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested in what you're going to take. Um, all right, Jones, you're up. Four plays, last pick. Our last pick. I'm surprised it was still here. It's pretty popular. We're going to go to John Daly. Well, that's just got vetoed by me. Why? Yeah, that's well. <laughs> Does it need to have two alcohols? That's no. No, it has only one. But basically, they argue that since it's already pre mixed, it's basically a mixed drink. So and that got that got overruled. So like a, it's 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 way closer to a Jack and Coke than it, I'd, I'd agree. Yeah. So you got to have a third yeah, ingredient. Yeah. So you got to have a different drink. It's tough, right? You just got. You just got gangster. I mean, we're in the last round. I don't I know. know if I had a backup. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, dude. It's tough. A couple heavy hitters here. Is there? I have three left on my. I have two left on my board. I should say. I got eight. You got eight. Wow. Okay. You've eight. That's good. No <sighs> seven. I just took off Long Island. Now. <clears throat> Do you have anything in your brain? I thought you guys four plays the big cocktail. Uh, yeah, I could see we podcast. Have a, we have a group chat going. We're I like see. that one though. We're paused. We're, we're the podcast is on pause right now. And right. you know what? This is different too because you just walked in. Yeah, it's hard. To, it is hard. Uh, it's hard to pivot when you just walk in. I feel like it. normally we would have to put a shot clock on. Yeah, when you get uh, shot clock. Yeah, mm-hmm. but now because of the circumstances, he gets more leeway. Yeah, he gets more leeway. To our defense, Eddie told us maybe what thirty seconds before recording. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, twist. Yeah, yeah it was a twist. He, oh, had a, he had a big grin on his face. Is this a permanent twist? Grin I smile. wouldn't hate it. it makes <laughs> I, it up for a little bit. I think it's just a one. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it's received and whatnot. Um, 
I but texted the group. It's going to be a group decision. Group decision of what the oh, last yeah. thing is. Fuck those slow pokes. Come on. No, they know. Do you hear how Trent is going to get foreplay canceled? <laughs> yeah, he really? supports yeah. Russia. He's pro, he's pro Putin. Oh, because Rick's came over here with the yeah. Kiev mule. And yeah. then he took a white Russian. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you know what? This would be good. Actually, while we wait, can you tell us that how you're the, you're the emergency backup goalie for the Islanders? Yeah, this is a city that's very familiar with. The oh, US. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you know this, Carl? You are the emergency oh, backup goalie for the, yes. the New York Islanders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of that. I didn't know you were the one. Have have you, Scott have you, Foster? Yeah, uh, Scott Foster. Yeah. Have you David ha- had to dress? No, never. No. Never even gotten like, How long close. have you been under contract? So you saw, before the season, you sign a uh, ATO or PTO, uh, whatever it is. And then if you get in, it like goes into effect. Do you have an agent? No. No. I just got contacted by like an assistant GM or something like that. In For the how- Islanders. For the Islanders, yeah, it was a weird call. I like didn't answer the call. So did you? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you go to every? Do you go to every game then? Like no, you get like a set schedule. Okay. So, so there's know, a rotation of. Yeah, there's okay. about four. I mean, okay. I'm not gonna go to 40 Islander home games. Yeah, it'd be crazy. Do yeah. so you guys hang out? Do you and the other backups? Uh, I play men's league against a few of them. Um, Are you the best out of the? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it's Scott Foster, like you guys, you have his poster on your wall or anything? <laughs> Him and David Ayers, yeah, are like my shrine. <laughs> I just sleep, I sleep, I look up at them both. Someday, someday. Is it like it's, a dream though? Like, are you like hoping to get the call one day? Um, it would definitely be really cool, but the chances are so did you, so slim. I don't go in with like my. Did, did you play I, college I, hockey somewhere? Yeah, I went to Stony Brook, played club. Okay. Hockey. Yeah. yeah. So there was a there was a Chicago Steel puck over here earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Very close to being a member of the Chicago Steel. Is oh, that right? Yeah. How about yeah. that? Stony Brook, the, the pride of Tommy Kohler, right? Yes, Tommy sir. Kohler and uh, who's the other? Who's the big Polish kid who plays? Uh, Jankowski? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, he runs good. like the wind. I think he's on the Mets now. Mm-hmm. I think he just signed with the Mets. He was the Padres. He was on the Padres. I really long. want you to get in the game. Yeah, me too. It would be cool. Yeah. I mean, what, so what happens if you're like, it's tonight and you're here? It's not my game. They're going to have, they'll have two goalies there. Or oh, goalie there. so they're, oh, so there's, it's just one. Yeah. I thought it was just one. Right? Yeah, most, yeah. It's either one. Or, yeah. Sometimes I, there's two there. So. I got another Oh, all the cocktails have been picked up. What, what's your favorite left? Favorite left. Yeah. Like you're going to make a pick here or what are we doing? Oh, did anybody respond? Yeah. Ooh. I just didn't know like how long we were going to do. We got a couple. We got a couple. Oh, we got a couple. Frankie to go yeah, on yeah, Google yeah. for you. No, no, no. Jake gave me a bad one. I don't like that one. Um, Dark and Stormy. Dark and Stormy. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. That's a real good one. I like that a lot. What can you do? You know much about it? Do I know much about it? Yeah. There is a dark beer in it. Okay. Dark What's up, Frank? Say. What do you got? What's Don going Daly on? Daly was crossed off the list. Yeah. yeah. Why? It's it's a pre mixed drink. Oh, that's a good point too. That's a sponsored drink. It's a pre mixed transfusions come in pre mix. It's, it's iced tea lemonade. It's iced tea lemonade and a liquor. What are we talking about? It's three. It's three. But you would buy a can or a I jug. Agree. Of, I agree, Frank. You don't have to. Like, what if you go to like, but you do. nice southern hospitality? They have a nice big jug of iced tea, a nice big jug of lemonade. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, how many times have you seen that? Oh, probably a couple times. Probably a couple, yeah. yeah. Probably I mean, it a just, it, it's outside. It's not a cocktail. Like we talked about this. It's a mixed drink. I disagree. All right. Do you think it's closer to being a cocktail or do you think it's closer to being a Jack and Coke? Closer to a vodka soda. Way closer to being a cocktail. Than it is a vodka oh, yeah. soda. It's it garnished and everything. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful drink. Who garnished? fucking gar- what, who garnished? Lemon? Is there a lemon in there? Crazy? How about a little lime? Lo- Are you? <laughs> yep. Frankie, no, I wish sir. you were here earlier. Yeah. I, I wish you were here earlier. I wish you were here earlier. That's my guy coming to my bat. Um. To all right. Well, Ed, do you want to make an appeal to see if you can get it back in the first no, round? No, I mean, uh, the, the toothpaste is back in the tube. So oh, yeah. it was a first round yeah. pick? No, no, he fourth. tried to get it in the fourth. I took it in the fourth. Uh, and I got, no, he got Dirty Shirley in front of it. I mean, it, it, would have, it would have been on my list if it was a cocktail because I love John Daly's. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. So Dark and Stormy. Uh, dark, I actually do. I like a good Dark and Stormy, too. You, That's dark good. rum, ginger beer, and a couple of dashes of bitters. All right, dark and stormy. Yeah, that's a good one. There we go. There's a lot of variety on our list here. There is. Mm-hmm. Four plays last pick, dark and stormy. All right, Hannah. White Sox, Dave, what do you think of his list so far? It's good. Oh, the voice. The voice. voice. Whoa, that's... <laughs> Jesus. We are struggling many, out of the gate. How many? This is the first time I've met you, so I just thought you talked like that. How many? No. She does. Okay. Yeah. It got better than worse. Yeah. Pull it a little towards you. All right, there you go. Hannah, yeah. how many of these drinks did you have last night? I wish all of them. Okay. <laughs> Um, are you a good cocktail girl though? Like I feel, like Red Bull vodka. Yeah, I know. I figured that's. Jeez. Well, they, you drink whiskey sours. That's what Dave took no, too. No, I don't drink them at all. Oh no, you don't. Because <laughs> of the egg whites. 
D- Dave said that you guys. I feel, like, I feel like this is worse than usual. This is like this, what, is, do you this like, is way worse than usual. What did you do last night? I don't know. It's stress. Maybe. Do you want some water? Is it stress? I drank it all. <laughs> Your voice goes when you're stressed. Yeah. No. no. She's got a paralyzed vocal cord. Yeah. Mm. So what do you think of the cocktails? You like a Cosmo? Yeah, what's, like a the mis- what's the Mr. Relevant? I the thought they would be a lot better, and then I'm going to choose. Yeah, your, your pick. It's your Tequila pick. Sunrise. Okay. Oh, good pick. So that was my personal go-to. If I didn't, if they didn't come up with anything, I, I didn't. You were going to go with tequila, that? Tequila Sunrise. Okay. Yeah. Tequila Sunrise. It's a good pick, Hannah. Thanks. Very good job. Can you, Anything else about the tequila? When do you like to get it? When you were at U of A, tequila was this in the rotation? <sighs> When the girls went to Cabo for spring break, I we would get like electric lemonades or AMFs, but okay. Um, Dave just yelled at me to be pick tequila something. I said, "Oh, he said that to you." Yeah, when he left. Oh, so he coached mm. you. But also, you guys, to be honest, I thought the list was gonna be better for everybody. For everyone, yeah. This is, this is, she's pulling a Dave Portnoy right now. Which one did you have the biggest problem with? Who put Dirty Shirley? I that was did. Edward. Why? That's good. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen you once get it. Well, yeah, well, because I, I just don't get cocktails. But if I was to get a cocktail, I would consider it. I'll get one today. How about that? Even mm-hmm. River said, won't. "Don't say dirty Shirley," because that's like a joke. I, I mean, uh, Joel and Bede love them. I guess one of the best players. So in you NBA. pick, you pick this whole draft purely on what you think other people would like. Is that no, how, no, is no, no, something that I would drink. Oh, okay. But yeah. that's the. That's the age-old question of this draft that we don't know what it is. Should you take what people would think is the most, what's the most popular or right. what you like the most? It's probably and a mix, right, of the two? Yeah, it's, there's there's two different trains of thoughts, so who knows what the right one is. Um, I'll read it down. We'll do some honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Carl and Tom, Old Fashioned, Margarita, Mojito, Long Island Iced Tea, Negroni, Eddie and Harry, Bloody Mary, Mai Tai, Dirty Shirley, Miami Vice, Painkiller, Chief and Danny, Manhattan, Espresso Martini, Paloma, Gold Rush, Penicillin, Foreplay, Transfusion, Kiev Mule, Pina Colada, White Russian, Dark and Stormy, White Sox, Dave and Hannah, Cosmopolitan, Vodka Martini, Whiskey Sour, Strawberry Daiquiri, Tequila Sunrise. Um, Carl, you had how many left on your list? I got seven. What do we got? Seven. Tom Collins, a gin Mm. gimlet, an amaretto sour, a whiskey smash, uh, oh no, we had Negroni just got taken. Nice job, Tom. Thank you. A French seventy-five. Yeah. Never heard of that. I was stuck between that and the painkiller. What's, what's a French seventy-five? Oh, like uh, champagne, like lemon, champagne and gin, and then the Saint Germain. Okay. And then uh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised nobody took Sex on the Beach. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. You yeah. know, that's popular too. Old Sex mm-hmm. on the Beach. Chief, you got any? Charlie? Charlie? The only, the only one I'm trying to, I would say, is just an Irish coffee. Yeah. A little whiskey, a, little. Uh, that was Jake Bailey's passes. and yeah, oh. I was getting. A, yeah. I got flooded with text. Jake said Irish coffee. Oh, Rick said, yeah. yeah, I just have two left. Toddy Toddy, um, <coughs> and Stoli Doli CT used to order them, so I just always shout liked out him. CT. Shout out CT. He said, "Let me get a Stoli Doli with some teeth, and that means with some with, with you know, with some bite. Yeah, yeah, make, <laughs> make it, it sharp, strong. Make it strong. Yeah. And I just love CT, so I've always liked Stoli Doli. You like since CT? Then. He's the best. CT. Um, <laughs> Yeah, CTE. No, just CTE. No, no right. he's a big CT. I was saying that facetiously. From the channel, like okay. real, real world. And he's um, number one guy. I love CT. Did you have any leftovers? I had sidecar. Okay. And then Aperol spritz. Yep. I didn't know if sangria was gonna count. Uh, I wondered that too. Trent walked out of here saying that. Yeah. Did he's he? like, oh, I was thinking about. I kind of. I think it should. I think it. What? I don't even know what else you would call it. Did you have any other ones? Um, no, I said tequila sunrise is my yeah. only backup. Is there backup? And I, I, I did debate it because we don't have any tequila on our list. Is there mm-hmm. tequila and pina colada? No, right? No, we got Mar- Oh, not your list, dude. Yeah. Your list, yeah. I would. I like the hot toddy. I meant to say that. That hot was a toddy. toddy yeah. one, hot toddy. You guys and a Tom and Jerry. Anything else? I had Tom and Jerry's are good. If Negroni didn't get to me, I was gonna go with like a personal pick that like uh, I think there's different names for it, but like we call it Skippy in my friend group, and it's uh, just light beer, vodka, and frozen lemonade. You mix it together and I would have oh, killed yeah, if you yeah. drafted that I would have killed you. <laughs> we we it's had, incredible we drink. We call it summer brew. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I had a friend a, who did a awesome. uh, yeah, he did awesome. like a study abroad in Chile and they would call those terremotos, which is an uh, er- yeah, I, earthquake. I just so love like that. You, when always... you stand up you like shake like your because your feet are unbalanced because uh-huh. you've had too many. Terremoto. Harry anything? 
Really just the French 75 and the painkiller. Right. Everything else got taken. Lance and Mr. Mr. Irrelevant, you did a great job keeping the door. Proud of you. What do you got? Anything? Rum Runner. That's a good one. Rum, rum Runner. runner. That's rum a good, runner. good Mr. Right. Relevant. Thank Round you, Lance. Um, all right. Thank you. This was chaotic. A lot went on today. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Jonesy, thank you. I thank actually you. think it went pretty smooth. It, I actually do, too. Yeah. I do, too. I'm open to more late game wrinkles. Yeah. I like the suspense of coming in and trying to figure out what Ed's little fucking trick was. <laughs> you can be like uh, with, with Jigsaw. You're like our saw guy. You're Jigs coming up with little games for us to play. You want to play a game? Yeah. On behalf of 4Play, um, thanks for having the squad. Of course. All of us. From all, I, I couldn't great. choose between great you guys, so I had to have you all. So. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. Good luck to Trent um, after this episode drops. Um, yeah. All right, that's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. We'll see you all tomorrow.